Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G and look at all of these incredible action figures that we've gotten to open so far from wave one of the TM Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles TMNT Mutant Mayhem action figures. They look so great and man, there's so many already. And we have the four pack that is the Turtles in Disguise. We have the party van six pack which has includes these exclusive figures we're exclusive for now and then we have even our mega mutant so look at all that this is absolutely incredible you're not going to want to miss this we even have the turtle tots two packs here so let's dive right on in let's take a look at all of these and so guys before we get started if you're not already subscribed to our channel please hit the subscribe button below hit the notification bell next to so you notified every time we have a new video come out Talk to us in the comments, love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these incredible action figures. Give us a big thumbs up and share this video with anybody who think would enjoy it. So what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. Folks, this video was brought to you by Vince. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent GD's Super Channel G and look how incredible these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem action figures look. We got all of these single packs open, the entire collection. I'm sure they'll release another wave, but for now, depending on when you're watching this, these are all the ones they've released so far. And of course, I do know that there's other ones like this, but this is not a single pack, technically. We do have this one we're going to be opening and many others so uh including the sewer layer and vehicle and so on but we're gonna get these open you're not gonna want to miss this this is was such a great time so let's go ahead and dive on in but before we get started guys if you've not already subscribed to our channel please hit the subscribe button below hit the notification bell next so you can notified every time a new new video come up Talk to us in the comments, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem action figures. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and like TMNT Mutant Mayhem. And share this video with anybody you think would enjoy it. So what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. Folks, this video was brought to you by Vince. Stay tuned. <laughs> Friends, now let's go ahead and finally dive in to these incredible Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem action figures. Let's get them all open. Let's see just how cool they are. And plus, we have the new Mega Mutant that we got at Walmart just recently. Look at that. Only at Walmart. And these also include the making of a ninja, uh, Target exclusive, the Young Turtles right here. So, let's see who we have here. And we will get going shortly, but oop, I'm a little uneven here, a little discombobulated. All right, so first we have Raphael, the angry one. Put him right here. Leonardo, the leader. Michelangelo, the entertainer. Donatello, the brains. Master Splinter, Master Sensei. We have Leatherhead, Raging Cajun Gator. Bebop, 
jacked up warthog. We have Rocksteady Mutant Muscle. And Superfly Fly Guy. Now, that makes all of these, all of these, and we have these bonus Turtle Tots. Raph and Mikey. That's cute. Look at that. <laughs> and we also have these Turtle Tots. Leo and Donnie. Look at those glasses. <laughs> Look at those eyes. That's cool. So, all in all, we'll end up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 action figures. Plus, 14 for the Mega Mute. Look at this. Isn't that crazy? Look how ginormous this is. There we are. Man, that looks crazy. And, well, of course, we're going to be opening all the, oops, the special two-packs and um, the sewer, the vehicle. I'm, like, trying not to drop everything. And so that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, that'll be in the next one. We'll put them all together because, of course, just want to give you a glimpse. Of course, we have, ah, Turtles in Disguise Party Pack. the making of a ninja which includes these that glow in the dark and so uh, and then as a reminder you have to check this one out which it's kind of the same with these five one two three four five but it has April O'Neil and it has this version of Bebop alright so let me go ahead and set everything aside and we're going to jump on in in a moment. So, let's get all set up right here. And let's, let's have a blast. Let's kick this off. All right, friends, let's kick this off with the very first action figure, Leonardo the Leader. And we'll try and do them in this order right here. Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo, Splinter, Rocksteady, Bebop, Superfly, and Leatherhead. And we'll probably put the four baby turtles here, even though it shows them here. But whatever. So, look how cool this looks. Looks great. It has all these ex extra accessories right here. And we're going to get this open. Look at this beautiful package. Look at Leo right here. Why am I getting out of focus? There we are. That looks great. There's a UPC in case you need it for some reason and of course Playmates Toys and let's see what it says back here we'll start off with the write up for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem and then we'll skip that and we'll just read this going forward Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Movie.com Playmates Toys.com look at that new webisodes and more huh so I'm gonna have to check that out okay so for Leonardo we're gonna read this back and it says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teen, uh, mutant Mayhem. Busting out of the New York sewers are four bodacious brothers ready to kick butt. Born from mysterious mutant ooze, these tubular turtles and their radical rat dad have trained in the art of ninjutsu to become a bad guy bashing super team. With their buddy April O'Neil, they're about to face the gnarliest mutants the world has ever seen. Very cool. So here's Leo. Right here, Leonardo. Leonardo, Leo's the leader. Well, he wants to be. He dreams of leading his brothers to become an unstoppable crime-fighting team. So what if no one takes him seriously? Weapons, twin katana, dream to be a fearless leader. All right, we're getting him open. And let's see what we can do without destroying this little package. And I guess we'll open it from this side. And how hard is this going to be? Medium. Okay, so far so good. Easy does it. Mm. Easy 
does it. There we go. I guess we'll stop right there. See if we can get under here. Perhaps not. <laughs> Almost there. I'm like, come on. Whew, getting close. Oof. May have done it. But I guess I gotta lift it from here too, so. Last the uh oh. There we go. No! I was like so close! Oh man, I'm messing it up again. But I think we might be able to sneak him out. Oh, Ooh, that was so close. Alright, well, I failed in the end. Because look. Failure. Alright, well, learn for the next time. So here we are. Leonardo the leader. And I guess we can just twist these bad boys. I guess we can cut them. Here's this. We want to take all these weapons out. Maybe. Oh man. I didn't mean to rip the whole thing off. I was actually just trying to get it to come out from there. Oh well. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get his swords out. So just cut everything. This is. But where's my little scissors? Those bad boys would really come in handy right about now. Yeah, this is gonna take too long. All right. Oof. Sorry guys, I promise the next one won't be this crazy. Okay, there we are. And we have this feet here. I don't know if we need all this, but... I mean to hold them in place. And here we are. Okay, then nice. And, well, sorry, Mr. Package, sir. Oof, it's getting worse. There, just had to tear it. Uh, this was on which side was which? There we go. That was a horrible opening job. Horrible. And I hope the rest of them aren't that bad. But here we go with Leo's. I wonder if they're all gonna be like that. Let me see the Mikey's. Mikey's is that color? It looks like, well, nope. They all have different weapons. And what about Raph here? It is similar but not the same. Okay. So, I guess we can stand this up. That's kind of cool. And could have this attached. It's a weapons rack. But, okay. Let's take a look at Leo. Let's get closer over here. Sorry that took so long. But, Leonardo. Definitely digging the head sculpt. Look at that. The head tilts backwards and forwards this much. Be careful here. Even though it's soft plastic, you don't want that to get stuck. Head turns. His head looks slightly different green than the rest of his body. Look at that. The arms come this far up. Spin all the way around pretty well. Obviously it does hit here. There is no waist joint. Um, let's see. The elbows bend. I'm like this is something. Let's see, you want the elbows to bend. Is it backwards? believe that's how we want it into wow barely past the 45 degree angle let's see if we can push it closer to 90 we can turn at the wrists I like the detail on his belt here his throwing stars let's see the legs they do have a joint that turns them out and can let the legs go up and this is a medium soft plastic so you can push it up a little bit we do have knee joints and ankle joints, too bad it doesn't pivot, it just turns. Same thing here. So 
so again not quite 90 degree angle we don't have heavy articulation but we do have good articulation it's cool this is here I was like can we pop that off nope but we can definitely put these here Oop. And that looks cool look at that it definitely looks cool like the color green and I think I mentioned this before in the other video but just turn in the feet doesn't do a whole lot for me I'm I mean I'm glad it has it but it'd be much cooler if we could kind of tilt them because that's what we really needed to help us here let's put the swords in his hands awesome that we can turn the wrists and obviously that we have elbow joints and how do we want to pose this Go. So that looks pretty cool. He's leaning back. Leaning back because I can't tilt this foot forward. And that's unfortunate. I have to lean him right here at the waist. But then that gets a little weird. Okay. Well, I'm kind of digging that. So that looks cool. Look at that. Boom. Let's set him aside right here. And look at this little weapons rack. Like, is that an, did this have ooze in it? And it's like literally oozing out broken canister. Pizza. We have a throwing star, and we have some little, I guess, throwing little daggers here. And then this one. Interesting. So, this one was attached right here. I was trying to pop it off, and well, it definitely popped off. But um, anyway, you can definitely replace these. His hands to have little weapons. And let's just get them out. I'm like, why not? It already came this far. Let's see. Oof, we need like nippers to get that out. Get this little pizza. We'll leave the throwing star, but we'll take one of these. Take one down, pass it around. And yeah. We can get this off. Let me see if I can find the. Ooh, well, that came off. But it wasn't easy. Give me a second. Well, I didn't find him. Jeez. Had to move on without him. Alright, whatever. But, let's, get, let's bring him back over here real quick. That looks cool, actually. Alright, and. We hit this canister that's what it looks like in relation this pizza this you can't really hold it this weapon you can and then we'll have to nip that off and same thing here a little looser than I would have liked but that'll give you an idea and there we go Again, we'll set him aside over here. Let's take a look at the little baby turtle version of him. Look at that. So that's cute. We'll put this right in front of him. And well, we'll have his little weapons rack right here for just this one. I guess we can. Pizza here. That TCRI um, ooze canister or whatever. Good enough. Alright, let's move on. And next is Raphael the Angry One. <laughs> Oof, I was like, did it smashed in? Nope, not smashed in. Looks great. Look at that. 
And Raphael. Let's see what it says about him back here. It says, Raphael. Raph likes to break things. In fact, his biggest goal is to punch someone so hard they throw up. But beneath his hard head and tough exterior is a sensitive turtle just looking for someone to talk to. Weapons twin sigh and dream to be a mixed martial arts fighter. Look at that. He's punching his hand. Okay, let's get this bad boy open. And well, we're gonna have to try a slightly different technique here. I'm confident we'll get it, and you can skip forward on this part if it's probably the boringest thing you've ever seen. Wow, that was pretty smooth. I gotta hand it to myself, that was smooth. But here, how come we can't just... Ooh, we sort of did. Cross your fingers. There we go. Okay, so... Forget about the outside. Mm. I'm sorry, the inside is what I meant to say. Why am I stuck? I was like, why am I stuck? I don't know why I'm getting stuck, but I sure am. Okay, well, that looks good enough. And then here. Oh my gosh. Well, it wasn't great, but it was much better. And we will get him out right here. Wrath. Let's take a quick look at the weapons they have for him here. And, well, these are cool. Look at that. Why are they all wiggly squiggly, though? Pizza, throwing stars, TCRI, and then this one has a different shape. It's more of, if it's all chipped. Okay, cool. So we'll toss that back in there. And get rough out through here. There we go. Whoa, I'm flying. I know you couldn't see that, but that was cool. Oh my gosh, and then I dropped it. Here we are. And he doesn't have all that extra little plastic little tags. So I am grateful for that. Here we go. I'm going to spend all our time cutting those. And then the baby turtle. Look at that. Oh, is he any different from the other one? Let's see. Slightly different color. Slightly. Huh. And is it a? Yeah, I guess his head's turned a little bit more. So there we go. Okay. I'm gonna throw these back in here. Cool. Set that aside. Like, where did I set it aside? Good enough. Alright, let's take a look at our Raphael. And Raphael, we can put twin side right here. Well, we have one longer than the other. Look at that on the sides. And different pattern. This plastic is pretty bendy, so it'll just be. Very mindful of that. Can I put this in here without getting in the way of his arms? Doesn't look like it. Look at that. Uh oh. I was like, is his arm backwards? Couldn't tell. But that looks alright. Get closer again. His head. Is that all it tilts? There we go. Tilts back decent. Side to side a little bit and turns. Cool. The arms go a little higher. I was able to push them a little higher than the ones for Don. I'm sorry, for Leo. Let's get these out. Oh my god. I'm flying. And let's see. His knee joints. What's the deal here? 
What the deal? There we go. Okay, not quite 90 degree angle. Oh, I almost popped his, his foot off, look. But it looks a little looser than normal. Look. Okay, so we do have the legs that do turn and they have that joint that turns right here and then goes back and forth. Again, this is a medium hard plastic right here so we can't just do it straight out. But arms turn around pretty well. Smooth enough. Looks like a slightly darker shell than Leo. And otherwise this looks great. Let's put this in his hand right here. I like that it feels nice and kind of chunky. There we go. There we go. That looks great. And you know, I was kind of liked in the 2012 series how he would have like one like holding upside down. Same thing with Leo with the swords. But um, anyway, looks great back over here. Let's put his legs a little bit and put him right here next to Leo. This little baby turtle, which we already established is this cute little guy right here. His head's slightly more to the right, so that's how we can tell. Put it right over here. Okay, awesome. That was great. And next, let's go ahead and do Donnie. I meant Donnie. And let's get our camera over here. Let's make sure they're okay, cool. Let's go a little higher and look how cool that looks. Great. And he's got headphones, glasses, baby turtle again. And we keep doing this side great, but this one's the one that starts to come unraveled. So, UPC, let's see what it says here for Donnie. It says, Donatello, Donnie is devastatingly smart and not afraid to let you know it. His intellectual self-assuredness may come across as arrogance, but it's just that his brain is thinking so many steps ahead that he's paralyzed with indecision. Weapons, bow staff, dream, to become a game developer by day, K-pop star by night. Very cool. Let's get him open. Okay, and look how smooth this side always is. What is up? What is up? Okay, here we go. Oh no. If not what I wanted. Okay. There we are. Can we get this to be every bit as smooth as that side was for some reason? It's looking like it. It's looking like it. Don't know how I made it, but I made it. At this point, it doesn't matter. I mean, I guess it does, but look how smooth that looks. All right, little Donnie. And he doesn't have all those extra random little plastics either. So he has... Wow, look at these as his weapons. I've got this pizza, this one's orange. This one feels, probably just my imagination that it feels more like flexible. Look at this bow staff that's all kind of, again, jagged looking and with a worn out weapon. I guess this is an ooze container, but it's not broken and oozing out. And it's definitely very orange back here, let me, to say the least. Getting Donatello here. Bow staff. Looks like it's a slight. I'm like, oof, it looked like a slightly different color, but now I'm not so sure. Maybe it's just the lighting. Okay, here we go, Donnie. You're not driving the vehicle right now. And let's get this little toy to out. Boom. Alright. 
Perfect. Look at that. Awesome. All right, Donnie. Let's see. This turtle doesn't appear to be much different than Leo's. There is a slightly different, uh, slightly different color. Wow, it's so crazy. It's probably the same one, but with a slightly different, more yellowish uh, tint to his color. All right, this one already has the glasses on. Let's come on in closer. Look at that. He tilts his head as far back and forward. His glasses. Ooh, you can take them out. Little hole for a peg right there. He's got his cell phone poking out of his little fanny pack, which has a little place to set it right there. This is probably little, supposed to be a little higher. You can put his bow staff right in here. That's cool. And let's see as far as the arms. Wow, the arms go higher than the other guys. Significantly higher. Look at that. Look at his shell. Looks like this detail isn't as deep as on the other ones, but it's still there. Arms come down like that. We can still turn them at the wrists. Can't quite get to a 90 degree angle, but the elbows do turn and go out. Now, wow, look at that. Donnie would be able to sit. So that's awesome. Couldn't do that with the other turtles, at least not without a struggle. Knee joints bent almost a 90 degree angle also, man. So the articulation for this Donnie is amazing. Look at that, we can also turn right here at the knee. Slightly, it does restrict it right here. But it just turns, twists, and gives us really great articulation. Look at that. Awesome. So, we put this bow staff in his hand. Look at that. We can probably just throw on these earmuff looking headphones. And I'm like, well, how are we supposed to get him to stay on? Look, especially with the shape of his head. Look at this dude. Like, there's no way. Can we at least put it on his neck? Ain't looking too good, cuz. Like, ugh. Can't even. Oh! Everything's going wrong now. Oof. Alright, so. Sorry, I couldn't get the headphones to stay on. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. You can let me know in the comments what exactly I was doing wrong. And everything else started popping off. So I guess we're just gonna have him holding his headphones, which looks awkward too, I guess. <laughs> but, um. Huh. That's weird. I was so sure that they'd stay on his head. So. Here we are. Let's get him to a little stronger stance. And there we go. And Donnie looks great. Look at that. Set him up right here. Get his little turtle. And his headphones. Look at that. The turtles are slightly different colors, just like you see right here, they're different colors. That looks great. Okay. Let's move on. And we'll go back up again. Perfect. Next is Michelangelo, the entertainer. Michelangelo. Looks great here. Mikey, Splinter, look at this uh, tagging in the back graffiti and yep does look awesome here. so let's see what it says about Mikey back here it says Michelangelo Mikey's the comedian too bad his brothers don't think he's that funny he might not be the best at ninjutsu or waking up on time or even hygiene but you can always count on Mikey's positive attitude weapons Nunchucks and dream to be a stand-up comedian. Chuckle. Okay. So, all this looks great. Awesome artwork. We're we're here already. And wow, we still have a little bit of ways to go. 
which is a great thing. Let's see if we can get this out. And man, this orange is like super popping. So here we go. This right side always goes like swimmingly. Let me not speak too soon. Wow, look at that. And then we get to this part and things go a little, little wonky. This time we're going to find success. Look at this. Whoa! There we are. And here we go. Wow, that was pretty sick. Look this is a little baby pizza slice. Look at these. It's two microphones. You see that? TCRI little container and Look at this, I really dig this weapon right here. Which is kind of reminiscent of like the 2012 Turtles where his nunchucks would go and they'd be able to shoot out pretty far with a chain and then have the, the little blade in the end. Let's get his little, little baby turtle out. This looks like it's the raft one again, but darker green. Probably gonna have to, looks like we have to cut these out. Cut it out. Looks like we don't have to. Cool. Boom. Shake the room. And here comes this Mikey. Then nice. Uh oh. I didn't see it. he does have plastic little ties. Oh whatever. I was able to just twist them out of it. Da dun dun da dun dun. Okay, that's great. This here. Michelangelo. Okay, that's pretty good. This, well, well. Da -dun -dun -da -dun -dun. That looks pretty awesome, actually. Okay, great. Let's get closer to Mikey. And let's see how he's doing here. Okay, the head turns all the way around and tilts. You know, enough. Whoa, up's pretty good. Down, not so much. It's just kind of to the resting spot. These greens are slightly different color. Let's see, turns around pretty well, but wow, it does hit here right away, so um, just be mindful of that when you turn it. His arms go up pretty decent. Again, we have this elbow joint that doesn't quite come to a 90 degree angle. It's like we're barely beating 45 degrees. We turn at the wrists. There's M, we can have these go right here. You know, I don't love the way this looks when we have this. So, maybe if the shape was a little bit different, but, um, and these aren't really meant to be right next to each other either, even though they designed this part as if it was supposed to, so. Luckily that still fits. There we go. And there we go. So, okay, well that works well enough. Look at that. The legs come higher up here on Mikey than our first two turtles. Not better than Donnie, but it does come up pretty well. His legs do bend pretty well also. Look at that, the knees, pivots there. Doesn't get stuck like for Donnie either, so it has better knee mobility. You can turn his ankles, and then this joint moves around pretty well. It's not so restricted there, so that's pretty good. And let's see, how do we want these? Do we want this side like this, or do we want it the opposite where it's like this? I guess one of each, right? So, that looks cool. Let's see about a cool, cooler stance than just that. That'll still work. And look at our little turtle. He's cool, he's cute. Again, it's probably just the same two molds. And we'll put him right here. Same color as his turtle skin. Look at that. That looks pretty outstanding. And there's the baby turtles. How great that looks. Awesome! Let's do the other 
one that's left, well, it's not the other one that's left, it's the first five on the top. The good guys. Here we go. Let's move on. And we'll do this next. I think I keep saying the same thing over and over, but Splinter, Master Sensei. Look how cool that looks. Let's bring this up higher. Again, while we get it open. That looks awesome. And there we are. Look at this beautiful artwork. And there we are. We still have our graffiti in the back. Splinter. Here we are. Okay, so let's see what it says. It says Splinter, Rat Dad slash Sensei. Splinter is coping with the fact that his four sons are growing up. He's made a wonderful sewer home for his family, but now his sons need independence and New York needs his sons. Walking stick sword is weapon and dream to protect his sons from being milked. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Getting slightly better at this. I want to say slightly. Ugh, barely. Ever so slightly. Alright, here we go. Here we go. And ooh, why is this one so smooth? I don't want to speak too soon again. Look at that. Ah, uh, for once it just it was smooth. Ooh, interesting. Look at this. Ooh, this one has a little nut. I wonder if. Yeah, no, that didn't do anything. Mm -mm. There we go. Cut this around right here. And that looks great. Ooh, I knocked his glasses off on accident. It's like ripped them off. Here's this cool little guy. And wow, look at his weapons. He's even got, looks like a, a bow right, I'm sorry, like for bow and arrow, B-O-W. We have the arrows right here. And that's cool, look at those weapons. I'm throwing stars. Let me put this back in here. Nice. Then nice. Okay. Let's come on closer. We'll throw his glasses right here. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, they actually go in there. I'm like, there's holes in the back of his head right here. Okay, his head only tilts, it looks like, as far as it's spinning around. I'm sorry, spins doesn't tilt. Arms only go up this high. They do turn around, but this is really tough plastic here. So it doesn't push that up at all. We have an elbow joint that does bend and turn. The wrist joints turn. Same thing on this one. So there, um, no joint at the waist. This is a softer plastic than this is. The tail moves back and forth like that. And as far as the legs, it should be still a similar joint, but we twist this and we can we can go forward and backward so that it's correct. Cool. But no knee joint and we can only turn the feet. Okay, that's alright. We'll use this tail to help prop us up so we don't fall. If we can get it to work. There we go. And let's see his little cane sword deal. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, I wonder if we can just put this in his hand and have him using it. Look at that. So that's pretty cool. As far as his um, head sculpt, looks pretty good. Digging the colors. Um, pretty good job with the splinter. Looks pretty awesome. Look at that. And I love the fact that it's Jackie Chan. Let's go ahead and move this right here. And like, well, he's 
leaning off the, a whole lot to the side. I'm like, can we get him to lean the other way? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> so, like, what did I do wrong? I guess he's just leaning that way. I'm like, maybe we can have him. Hmm. Like, interesting. Is one leg slightly longer than the other? I guess so. All right, there we go. Cool. Look at that. That looks great. Okay. So, let's go ahead and move on. All right, let's go ahead and do Turtle Tots, Leo and Donnie. Bring this up here. And look how great that looks. This is one that's going to be available only at Target. The Making of a Ninja. Look how cool they look. Leo and Donnie. I'm sure you can guess which is which. And I like how they just jammed them in over here in between Splinter and Michelangelo, which does make a lot of sense. So, over here it says, Turtle Tot Leo. Leo was born to lead. He dreams of leading his brothers to become an unstoppable crime-fighting team. But he's got a long way to go before he can call the shots. When I grow up, future leader. Favorite color? Blue. And also Turtle Tot Donnie. Donnie was born brilliant. When his brother's adventures get the boys in trouble, it's Donnie's brains and bright ideas that save the day. When I grow up, future genius. Favorite color? Purple. I'm sure we could guess could have guessed all that. Alright. Let's get this open. There we go. That one was almost disaster and then wasn't. I'm happy about that. Cool. Now here we go. Let's see if we can keep our streak going. Streak intact. Alright. This one does have little, little dilly box right here. And we will get this out from over here. Okay. Get him out right here. So that's cute. Little weapons. And let's get Donnie also out. Okay, cool. And just pop him out. Like, right, come on, Donnie. Let go. Let go, Donnie. Let go. There we are. I was like, you gotta let go, Donnie. You gotta let go, buddy. Same here. We'll get this out here. Okay, perfect. Leo and Donnie. Take two. <laughs> here we are. And, well, our Leo looks great. That was, let's see, his head turns and kind of barely. It does pivot around slightly, but it's just so big. Look at that. That it hits all sides. It does turn. You can see that? But it is kind of chunky, hard to turn. Uh, he does turn here at the waist. Probably because we can't turn his legs, but we can turn the waist a little bit. You know, it looks a little awkward when it's misaligned, but hey, at least it turns better than nothing. And then his uh, shoulders, they do turn, and they have one joint to go up and down besides around. Look at that. Cool. 
Look at his eyes. Alright, cool. So look at his swords. Little homemade little style. And it's one longer than the other. Sure is. Okay, cool. We can just fit this. This fits nice and snug in his hand. And this one, same thing. So, maybe we'll switch those since this one has his arm like. This one will go more in the air up. This one can stick out less. Look at that. That does look cool. And that does look awesome. I'm loving it. Okay, set them right here. And let's look at our Donnie. Looks like these glasses do come off also. Could probably pop that out, rather not. So his shoulders also, up and down and around. No other articulation for the arms. And again, the waist does turn, look at that. Hmm. As far as the head, it just tilt and pivot a little bit. It's also chunky, so to turn it around, it's kind of a little bit tougher. Let's get his bow staff and put it right here in his hand. Look at that. That's cute. Looks like this hand isn't made to hold it, so. Just so you know. That looks cute. And there we are. Let's put him in front of Splinter. That's cute. Maybe we can move Splinter a little bit. There we go. I'm like, hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Look at that. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's go ahead and move on. Next. And next is where we have our Turtle Tots, Raph and Mikey. Move up here, take a look down, and look how great this looks. Another Target exclusive. Look how cute, we got Raph and Mikey. And Raph's little, little cute little gordito. And well, here we are. That's what it says back here about Turtle Tot Raph. Raph was born to bash. From a young age, Raph loved to break things. But he's got to keep training if he wants to achieve his dream of punching someone so hard they throw up. When I grow up, future fighter. Favorite color, red. And turtle tot Mikey. Mikey was born funny. As a tot, he made growing pains a little less painful. Finding the humor in anything and bringing joy to his brothers and rat dad splinter. When I grew up, future prankster, and favorite color, orange. Yeah, I guess we, why not? We had a little fun. So, here we are. And, oof, this one actually went a little unhinged. So let me take a second here, uh-oh. Okay, that'll still work. Great. Okay. Here we are. And let's get these guys out. Perfect. And let's see what about that. What side do we need this to come off of? This side or that? I guess let's try this one first. Oh yeah, very cool. All right. Whoa! It just shot out of there. Picked me up with its mind powers and shook me like a dog. Hey, I was like, come on, little buddy. Same thing here. 
same thing here. And let's pop you on out. Boom! That's great. Very cool. Set that aside. I'm just trying to drop this weapon. Oh, man, all the way over there. Sorry. Oof. Jump with some dust bunnies. All right. Great. Let's see. We got Mikey right here. Mike looks cute. Um, he's got less shell to get stuck here. His head does pivot and turn a little bit easier than the other guys. Arms do go around, goes up and down here, and then around. Same thing with this arm, look at that. And then we can turn it here at the waist. So that looks cool. And look at these nunchucks. Pop this right in here. Wow, this hand is a little tough. Interesting. It's a little tough to pop that sucker in there. I'm going to have to spin it as we push. Or I can pry it open, which is interesting. I don't think we're going to have to do that. Ah, we make it in time. Oof. I really had to push that sucker in there. Oh, and it still popped out. I'm like, no. Okay, that looks cute. Look at that. Yeah, I do like that. Great. And then we have Raphael. Oh, come on. There we go. I was like, I don't want to crack the arm off, but it wasn't wasn't working with me. Same thing here. Look. There we go. I don't want to crack the arm off, but oof. It's still not getting any easier. Okay. And turn it here at the waist. There we are. I like how this kind of goes down to make room for his jaw and his chin. His head only moves ever so slightly, but his um, back and forth, but his head does turn all the way around. There we are. And look at his toes. All right, let's get these little weapons in right his hands. Let's turn them like that, otherwise. It for that hand it'll pop out, but for this one, not so much. There we go. Look at that. That's cute. I do like the way these look. Let's put Mikey right here. Let's put Raph here, or maybe Raph in the front. Mikey right here. That's cute. Look at that. So yeah. Okay, man, how many have we done so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not even counting those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I missed Splinter a second ago. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool, let's move on. Perfect. So now that we've done our good guys here, and well, technically, if you've seen the movie, it is different. They changed the story, but in any event, we did our really awesome good guys there. Now we're going to start with the bottom figures here, which I was led to believe before the movie started, just like in the older cartoons and so on, that this would be the bad crew. And I guess, you know, perhaps. But there's a twist. And it has to do with being brothers. So let's see what it says here for Rocksteady. It says, Rocksteady. Built like a tank, Rocksteady is pure mutant muscle. Whether it's from his fists or his horn, you do not want to take a hit from this guy. He and Bebop make a dangerous duo, but their brains are, s are what some may consider small even for morons. Mutant Menace Meter 3. Interesting. Let's get him open. Oh, that didn't work out as planned. This isn't working out as planned. So let me be very cautious here. Cautious. 
cautious. Woo! Okay, that was pleasing. Okay, we got this right here. Perfect. And then, what in the world? We have to pop an arm in. Didn't even notice that. So, okay, my pleasure. Here we are. There's a weapon. And well, this is kind of cool. We have weapons reminiscent of uh, the old turtles. Or the 1980s turtles, what I meant to say. And of course, those were Playmates figures, so it only makes sense. Ah. Is it, how am I going to get this out of here? Okay. Oh, and it's got like a little sledge here. So that's cool. Alright, pop them on out. Got this gun right here. That's cool. And all we gotta do is pop this sucker in here. So we'll do the old twisty twist. Wow, look at that. That is a huge head. And it only swivels from left to right. So no up down. So the arms. It's got one sleeve. <laughs> and I'm like, there we go. I had to push it all the way in. There we go. Okay, so the arm does turn all the way around still. Look at that. Comes up almost to a 90 degree angle on that side, and this one, nowhere near. <laughs> it does bend at the elbow. So that's cool. Look at that. Interesting little. Those supposed to be his arm hairs. His wrist does turn. We heard that at the snap first. Same here. Elbows come in that much. Look at the stomach. Legs come, wow, basically a 90 degree angle forward. Not quite a 90 degree angle down, but look at his little, little legs. And then we can twist them out, so that's cool. Let's go to stand up. And big chunky boots, I like that. And let's see if he can stand on his own with having his head looking like that. I guess he can. All right, well, that'll work for me. What about when he's extending his gun? So that looks cool. He got his little silver tooth or whatever. But man, that looks crazy. Got this other gun. He's got a little shield here, the sledge. I am digging those weapons. That is cool. Okay, let's set them up over here. Uh, so that looks crazy. Okay, great. Let's put this here. And let's go ahead and move on. Oop, my glasses. <laughs> okay. Next we have Bebop. Go up higher so we can see and then bring it on in close. Bebop jacked up Warthog. And did we even read that it said Rocksteady Mutant Muscle? Hope so. There we are. And let's see what it says about Bebop. So Bebop. Bebop may be a jacked up warthog mutant, but he likes to roll in style. He's always sporting some killer shades and is never too far from a boombox. Mutant Menace Meter 3. All right, cool. So here we are. Let's see what we can do about this. Much better. Okay. Much better ish. <laughs> oh, this one feels like butter. Woo! Right, I'm gonna roll with that one. Let me show you this. Cool. 
You got to remind me, is this the one that's uh, Seth Rogen? Here we are. You know who wrote and imagined this iteration. Very cool. And wow, this little drill gun reimagined. Let's get this out. So that's cool. Again, reminiscent of the old ones. So the other one was a uh, so the trash can lid, the other one was a manhole cover. And very cool, these weapons. They are reminiscent of the original figures, so that's cool. Toss this down there. Let's see what we got. So for Bebop, look at his little legs. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Then, there we go. I mean, what's that? 45 degrees maybe? We can turn them there and go out and around. Look at his belly button piercing. Definitely has um, these shoulder pads that are made of turtle shells. So it restricts some of the movement here, but the arm does move pretty well. Look at that. I'm digging the colors, the head. Does it go back and forth? No, unfortunately not. That's too bad, because it has opportunity to go up and down, but it doesn't. Look at the head sculpt. Look at the wrinkly jowls. <laughs> I'm digging the glasses, I'm digging the hair. Look at that. We do have a really cool chunky elbow on um, joint. His wrist turn. Colors look great. Look at that tattoo on his chest. He's got a little tail. Um, it's not painted, so you can't really tell right away. And these little feet. Is he going to be able to stand with these little feet? I guess so. Or for the most part, let's see about his weapon here. So that's cool. Look at that. Well, he stands. So I gotta give him credit for that. And that looks pretty cool. Look at that. Not bad, chiquitos. Not bad. Wow! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 12, 13, 14. He's got three more. Cool. Alright. So here. And next, we have our villain here, which is Superfly. Fly Guy. Look at this. So that looks cool. And well, here's the UPC. This is how you have to pop in the wings back there. So here we are. Done all this, getting to here. And these last two right here before we get the super mutant. So Superfly, a highly intelligent humanoid fly. Superfly has lived in hiding his entire life slowly amassing power in the criminal underworld. He's clever, charismatic, and confident. And behind those eyes lies a sinister plan that is unlike anything the turtles have faced before. Mutant Menace Meter 5, where the other dudes were 3. So, let's get him open. There we are. Ooh, this one feels little. There we go. It started going underneath. Luckily, that was the end of the line right there. And here we go. Moment of truth. No, it's not starting off great. Listen to that. Whew. That was close. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, that was pretty easy. Pretty easy, get his weapon out here, get his wing out here. 
get his wings out from here. I guess let's put those out. Look at these weapons. They have like the Baxter Stockman weapons here. So, or what would have been included with Baxter Stockman when... Because in this world, Baxter Stockman would never became a fly. But here we are. His son did. And well, they put his weapon here as an homage. There we go. Teenage Mutant Turtle movie Superfly. Come on. There we go. Getting close. Alright, so we're gonna pop this right in. Let's see if this is supposed to be like this. Then this goes in here. Wow, his wings are bigger than I thought they were gonna be. Like, okay. Making sure I have it the right way. Well, this one's showing the wings down. So, but, okay, I guess we'll put them like that. Oh, it has a very specific shape here though. So let's make sure that we put it the way it's supposed to be. Yep, there we go. Look at these little feet. I wonder if we're going to be able to get them to stand. Especially with how heavy this arm is. This arm is like sick heavy. Okay, wow. The best head articulation of all of them so far. You can turn it all the way around and it pivots up and down. has a really thick chunky joint there. Look at that. This arm kind of got that rock steady thing going. Goes around nice and smooth. We do have a elbow joint that does turn. Look at that. These are just soft plastic. Don't crack them off. Doesn't look like they turn. And then this joint right here. Wow, look at that. Actually moves pretty well. Turns. We don't have an elbow joint, but we do turn at the wrist here. We might need this to like help support him walking. Because look, his legs come this far forward, this far back. We do have knee joints that bend and tilt. And look at his going right through his shoe here. Look at his little tie or whatever here. Hmm. His torn or uh, green shirt. Well, I'm really liking the mold on this figure. Look at his gun. We've got here. I guess we can have him hold it here. Oh man, this is a soft plastic gun. Look at that. Okay, perfect. So let's see if we can get him to stand. And what we're going to want to do is leverage this as like a heel if we can. Oops, and then have him lean on this arm, I guess. Well, that didn't work quite like I had hoped. Oof. Not like I had hoped. Okay, well he's standing right now. Let's see for how long. This one's the hardest one to stand out of them all. But go ahead and put him right here. Oof. So I lean forward. So that works. And we sort of ran out of room. So we're gonna need to make room for one more dude here. Well, one more of our uh, action figures, because this one was different in this iteration of Turtles. So Let's get that one out. And that's going to happen to be Leatherhead. So, here we are. Very cool, look at that. And so Leatherhead, Raging Cajun Gator. Looks cool, look at that weapon. Oops, slipped right out of my hands. And here's everybody. And it says Leatherhead. 
Leatherhead is proud to be a mutant and all in on Superfly's plan to make more of them. They are down for causing destruction and mayhem, especially if it means getting to make a few big bombas. Very cool. You're gonna be like, you didn't say that right. Hmm, did I do it on purpose or not? Here we go. Let's get this bad boy out through here. That went well. This is going well. Don't get overconfident. Don't get cocky. But that went very well. Okay. Very cool. And our leatherhead. And well, let's twist this around, twist this around. And very cool. Look at the weapons here. These are kind of different and unique. I'm thinking, what do the ones look like from the other head action figure from the 80s and early 90s? But Hmm. Just have to check, and they re-released them, so... Raging Cajun Gator. Very cool, and this one has some great level of detail on it. Okay, so let's turn the tail out first and foremost. Look at these little legs! <laughs> Alright, we got a knee joint. That, wow, look at that. And the foot actually does turn and um, at least pivots up and down. Look at that. So that's interesting articulation. It's very different from the other ones. This one, the boot. It moves, so that's interesting. It can help support despite the little legs with this tail, which does move back and forth and turns. So that's cool. Oh, arms backwards. Boop, boop. Okay, the head does go back and forth slightly. Too bad we can't open the mouth, that would've been fun. It's great detail on this figure. Too bad I can't remove these, but this is really supposed to be that way. We can twist the head that way, go back and forth. The arms do go up more than I thought. Look, almost to 90 degrees, in almost to 90 degrees. And, oh, we can do the robot. <laughs> and turn right here at the wrists. Very cool. Okay, so it's gonna stand pretty well. Look at that. You can put this little, I guess, shotgun here. Or, no, but there we go. I don't know what kind of gun that is, but it could be. It's definitely double barreled. Ugh. Look at this. So that's cool. You can put, but this is really soft plastic. Look at that. Just be mindful of that. And there we go. Which looks really cool, actually. I'm actually really liking how this figure looks. It looks pretty cool. I guess we can move everybody. And have a better setup here. I guess we can move this. Move this here. And... Hmm. I guess if we move the turtles... Donnie, Raph, Mikey, Leo, Splinter, and we can put, there we go, right there, not bad, let's see if we can move this up higher, look at that. Like that help, that make it worse. Where's this one lower? There we go. And super fly. Okay, cool. So let me move all this stuff because we're gonna need some room now. That looks pretty great. We got four turtles here. Well, I guess. Technically, our 12 turtles. <laughs> we have the little baby ones plus these young ones. 
Look at that. That looks awesome. Okay. Probably the action figure you've all been waiting for out of all the ones from the single series. And yes, don't I know it. This is what you've been waiting for. And now I misplaced it. Here it is. Bum, bu, bu, bum. <laughs> the Mega Mutant. And this Mega Mutant is colossal. It's huge. This one, I got it. Walmart. Look at that mutation station. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mutant Mayhem. And the Mega Mutant. Wow, that looks crazy. Movable Mega Mouth. Here's what the side looks like. Here's what this side looks like. And let's look at the back. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Look at this sick looking artwork right here. Like, what is that, a giraffe? Elephant. Um, ostrich. Squid. Horses. I'm like, wow. Monkeys. Narwhal. All right, and let's look at the bottom real quick. Before we get this open, there's that. There's this. We gotta pop the arm on. Pop the back wings on. Back of figure. Wow, it's cool. It's like someone just sketched it and then just wrote it with a inky pen. Very awesome. Okay, so it says. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Mega Mutant. When Superfly and his devious mutant making device fall into the Hudson River, what comes out is something the turtles could not have e never predicted. <laughs> okay, let me read that again. What comes out is something the turtles could have never predicted. He transforms into Mega Mutant, a combination of the Hudson's many underwater critters and any other animal he encounters. Wow, that looks crazy. And look at the whale body also. So I'm like, what's this? Oof. Nah, it looks crazy. All right. Let's get him out of here. Out of this package. And see what we got going on. Wow. Okay, well. How do I want to open this to make it easiest? Hmm. Like, mm, I guess we'll do it here. We'll start here. And I'll just take this part back up. If we want, which we might not want, or we just cut all that off. So, what would we like to do? Just cut it out. Yeah, let's just cut it. Why not? Once I cut, I can't come back. Boom. One more here. And one on the foot. So, didn't see that one. It's making funny sounds. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Sorry, that was hard to do. Kind of like close my eyes and wish for it to happen. <laughs> that wouldn't mess everything up. Wow, it's massive. Okay. We have this arm. Some tight little rope here. A little mini rope. And then this. Okay, let's see. I guess if I cut this, 
and we'll all be fine and dandy. There we are. Oof. Not quite what I hoped for. Like that. Okay. Oh, we have more tape. Okay. Very cool. And there we are. Great. I'm pretty sure that's all of it. And then we just gotta pop the arm on. And uh, the wings in the back. So, oof, man, this dude is huge. And just. We'll figure this out. Look at that. <laughs> this arm goes here. That's 12, there we go. Twist that in. And then this arm. Wow, look at that face. That's so crazy. And obviously these are his feet and they turn, but why turn? it's like doesn't really do much for it but okay sure um, the legs only go back and forth like they come back and forth this much but they don't go out and it doesn't look like there's any sort of knee joint so just back and forth tail does turn and has a joint to go back and forth look at that okay the mouth I just pull it down, right? Just be careful here, you don't rip this off or this off. Is there any other way to open or close it? Just other than pulling it? Guess not. Look at this elephant head, has his nose. Look at this squid or octopus rocking right there. This giraffe head. Look at that. Wow, this whale. The horses. This is a crazy looking action figure. And look at that. So, let's see how we're going to get this bad boy to stand. Putting the arm down like this. Have his legs like this, and I guess we just balance them. Look at this arm right here. We can go back and forth and around. We can turn here at the wrist, but these fingers don't move at all. These little narwhals or whatever they are. That looks crazy. Look at this arm, comes all the way back, turns, and turns here at the wrist, even though we don't have an elbow. And that looks pretty crazy, look at that. I thought this was gonna be more like straight on. And look at his little, this showing here. But it still looks pretty outstanding. All right, let's get his wings here. So I'm gonna match them up. Thinking that goes there. I'm thinking this probably goes here. This little one is shaped like let me put that one last. This one is shaped like what well, appears to be that. This one has this weird crazy shape right here. So that means process of elimination. That's this one here. Now look at that. Oh my gosh. This is a sick action figure. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Guys, <whistles> what do you think now? Oh, let's get everything set up so that we can have not just them standing here in the background, but let's include everybody. But what a sick looking action figure. Looks awesome. Okay, let me get everybody set up. All right, friends, what do you think of this? Look how incredible these action figures look. Finally, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus the little baby turtles. So this looks unbelievably amazing. There's three versions of turtles right there. 
Master Splinter, or Mega Mutant, Rocksteady and Bebop, Superfly, and we have uh, Leatherhead. I was like, oh, tip of my tongue. So guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today. And I want to ask you, if you have not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to so you notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments. Love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these incredible Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem action figures. Give us a big thumbs up and share it with anybody who you think would enjoy it. And check back on our YouTube channel for more great videos like this and the other turtle figures that we're going to open, including this. So let's let's get these all open. So thank you guys. Check back on our YouTube channel soon and check for any links below in this description and we'll be seeing you soon. Thanks for watching Vincent GD's Super Channel G. Peace. Alright friends, welcome back to Vincent GD's Super Channel G and look how incredible this four pack of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Ninjas in Disguise looks. Got this at Wal um, Walmart, it is a Walmart the four pack exclusive and I can't wait to show you just how cool it is. Plus we've been opening all of these great ones so far and check this out. Well here they are with everything we've opened so far well technically and we're gonna add even more than this so you're not gonna want to miss this so guys before we get started if you have not already subscribed to our channel please hit the subscribe button below hit the notification bell next so you get notified every time you have a new video come out talk to us in the comments we'd love to hear from you let us know what you think of these incredible turtles in disguise action figures Give us a big thumbs up if you like TMNT and share this video with anybody you think would enjoy it. So what do you say we go ahead and get started right now? Folks, this video was brought to you by Vince. Stay tuned. <laughs> Super Channel G. Super Channel G. So tight. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. Channel G. Vince and Gigi on Super Channel G. How you doing there, Gigi? So nice to meet you, Gigi. Vince and Gigi on Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. On Super Channel G. God, is this great? Joy. All right, friends, let's go ahead and get started with this incredible Turtles in Disguise party pack. This is a Walmart exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem action figures. And this includes Beach Bum Mikey, Cowboy Leo, Astronaut Raph, and Donnie as Spock. And just a quick reminder, these four will be sold in individual packs for the wave two of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem action figures. And, well, that's going to be exciting. But, if you were able to catch this Walmart exclusive, you will already have them. And we'll probably buy them anyway. And they might even have, you know, extra accessories. So, I'm sure I'll keep an eye out for that. So, check it out again. Beach Bum Mikey, Cowbunga Dudes. Astronaut Raph, One Giant Leap for Mutant Kind. Cowboy Leo, This Sewer Ain't Big Enough for the Both of Us. And Donnie and Spock, Live Long and Prosper. So let's see what it says here. It says... Turtles in Disguise Party Pack. Party with the Turtles. When the Turtles hear that April's classmate has intel on Superfly, they swap out their ninja gear to go stealth mode at a costume party. Get ready for some shell-shocking news, dudes. Wow, that looks cool. We need to get this open, and I'm like, oof. Do we want to hmm, move these aside so we can... Be able to yeah I guess we'll, we'll take a second to set these aside I'm like ooh, I kind of like how they were already set up but we'll come back to this everybody's gonna lose all their accessories or hopefully not but oh man I guess we'll move everybody except our m mega mutant 
that one. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll move it as well, but we'll be extra cautious and not just have it tossed on top. Okay, cool. So, let me get a little bit closer. All right, that should work. And maybe get a little bit closer. Now that we got everything going pretty well, this looks great. Look at this awesome box. This packaging looks absolutely great. Turtles in the Skies party pack. And pizza time. All right, Playmates Toys. And then, of course, YouTube.com slash at TMNT. New webisodes and more. So let's get this bad boy open. I'm like, where's my scissors? Oof. There they are. Ugh. So I'm gonna stretch all the way back. And here is my knife. So. Let's get that right there. Open this here, and well, there we go. Try not to bend the package, but also try not to tear it. All right, cool. There we are. Look how cool that looks. I'm like, hmm. Take a picture of that and momentarily. But, all right, cool. This is them out of the box. That looks cool. And, well, this is what the back of it looked like. So, there's sewer layer. And let's start off with, I guess, Beach Bum Mikey. We'll do them in order. What do you say? I'm like, hmm. How difficult will it be to get them out of here? Hopefully not at all. Okay, great. It looks like perhaps not at all. And hopefully there's no little plastic things. They, they, they just sit nice and neat in their plastic package and don't need it. Uh, additional like hassle to get them out. But that they can be stored away there again. That would be awesome. Okay. So, Beach Bum Mikey, there is a little plastic doodad there. Let's see if I can get this through. Perfect. And double perfect. Oof. Alright. Great. Had his arm up like that, but let's go ahead and get closer here. So, Beach Bum Mikey. Let's zoom on in here. <laughs> He's got his little um, camera right here strapped around him. I'm like, what's this for? He's got a little um, circle here, but look at that camera. All right, well, let's check his articulation first. He's got this cool little hat and this mold. So the glasses, I wonder if those come off. It looks like we could probably take them off, but it looks like it's supposed to be permanent. The hat is attached. I'm like, there we go. I was like, is the head even supposed to move? But it is. Cool, it tilts, turns, and could go all the way around if we want it to. Um, interesting that his shell is painted yellow. And he's got this shirt over it with what are those roses? Yellow roses. So that's cool. His pants, <laughs> they're painted shell. And he's got his sleeves right here. So his arms go up. This one goes up higher than this one, but about that high. I'm like, it does start to hit right here. You'll notice that. Um, his elbows, I'm like, oof. Elbow turning the wrong way. Like, which way is in and which way is out? There we go. I'm assuming that's supposed to be that way. Look at that. Okay, cool. Let's be mindful of which way it's supposed to turn. You'll see it has a line right here. The wrist do turn, look at that. That's cool. I'm like, is he supposed to have that gun right there? I guess we'll take that out in a second. Head turns pretty well. Um, he's got this little hat, little straw hat. Um, and his legs come this far forward. This one's a little looser than this one, but 
this far forward, which is surprisingly more than I thought it would. There we go. And then it has again this joint that turns. And it goes back and forth. The knee joints do come to a 90 degree angle, which is nice. He's got his little chanclas right there. And his ankles do turn. That's cool. Way to go, Mikey. He's got a lay on right here. And his little camera. So, I'm like, it doesn't really show here on the back, but let's see, if they all have weapons, so I'm gonna have to sneeze in a moment, give me a second. All right, thank you, I just edited it out. <laughs> okay, Spock has that, Raph has those, but I'm like, hmm. All right, Cowboy um, Leo, I would think would still have this shotgun and Beach Bum Mikey gets no weapons whatsoever, which is fine. It's just interesting. Because this definitely looks like a Western type gun for um, Leo right here, so I guess he doesn't get a weapon. Which is, again, fine and cool. But um, interesting, because he's the only one who doesn't. So let's see if we can get him to. To stand up and I guess hold his camera here. I'm like kind of just shoving the camera in his hand. <laughs> I guess. Um, it's all right. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. It's like the best he can do to give a thumbs up. But, alright, cool. Looks like he's having fun. Beach Bum Mikey. He's in disguise, and, well, maybe we can loan him one of the weapons that our other turtles have. So let's set him right over here. And, well, that looks cool. Alright, maybe I'll turn his head a little bit more because it's too tilted. There we go, maybe have it a little sideways. Very cool. Okay, next, let's move on. Next, we'll go ahead and do our Cowboy Leo. Here we go, Cowboy Leo. Let's put this up right here. Let's get our rifle, our pistols, by turning those out. Oof, this one actually is going through it right here, so I'm gonna have to cut that one off. Oh, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? I have this guitar right here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's get Leo out of here. And I'm sure you were yelling at me for forgetting he has a guitar. So, <laughs> sorry guys. Let's get back over here. This was still cool. But Mikey has a guitar, and that's what hooks over here. I'm sure you're probably like, no, you're way off, buddy. Look at that. So let's take this out of his hand, put this back down. There we go, look at that. So let's see what happens here. Can I get this to hook over here? which would help hold it, right? That's pretty cool. Look at that. Now I don't feel so ridiculous anymore for having missed that it. it was just right here on the side. He doesn't need a weapon. He needs this cool guitar. Richie and his flying guitar. Look how cool that looks. There we go. It's definitely bright. No, give it that much. It's like salmon colored. But okay. Back to Leo. Alright. Let's see what we got here, Leo. 
we have another cool hat. Let's zoom on in. Look at that. And this one doesn't come off either. Still wearing their masks. And wow, look at his shell. It's uh, he's got jeans on over his shell and his um, leather jacket here and I guess maybe some chaps going on and his belt so he's got his huge belt buckle that's cool his little sheriff badge his little bandana neckerchief going on and this right here is holster for his guns it is little six shooter right here Two of them, they should be the same thing, I would think. Very nice. We can probably just set those right in there. Look at that. Oof. This one's a little tougher, I would say. Looks like this could probably come off. Look, it's got like um, a little peg right there for a little on that belt and this. I don't know, I guess it's supposed to sit low like that, but this could go in there. So let's see, the head does articulate pretty well. Look at that. Just a decent amount back and forward and pivots and tilts, turns all the way around if we want it to. The arms do go a little higher than you would think they would, so that's cool. They go around. Looks like he can even tip his hat. Howdy, ma'am. Look at that. He can twist his... Uh, um, sorry, his elbows, is it facing the right direction? I'm like, let's make sure it is. Perhaps. Let's see, which one is the right direction? Uh, you're gonna have to help me out here. Let's see, this one appears to be the right direction. So then that would mean the pointy one would go... No, that doesn't look right. So let's try this one. Forgive me for struggling with that because it looked a little odd. But, okay, the arm goes all the way around. This little, look, I've never had one this loose. So this is a little shocking that it's that loose. The wrists do turn around. This one is not loose, look at that. Push hard with this one. So, as far as the legs, they don't come as far forward as you would think, but because they were restricted with the holster. Otherwise, they still come forward pretty well. The knee, um, they do come to roughly a 90 degree angle. Look at the blue jeans, that's cool. He's got his spurs right here. He's got what looks like steel toe right here. Perhaps not, but definitely got that chrome metal look. The legs do turn right there where the knees are. And it's a pretty cool looking figure, I will say that. Now let's see his rifle here. It's bent because it settled and look how soft the plastic is. It's got this pop gun looking action right here. But um, let's find out. Let's put this in his hand right here. that but I guess we will because it doesn't have a hole right there to be able to put his fingers through. That still looks cool. I like that. Let's see about his leg. Do his oh look his ankles do turn. They don't go back and forth, but they do turn. And let's see about his little pistol here. So it looks like we might be able to put a finger through there. Might. Okay, cool. We did. Now his arm looks backwards again, but now we're whatever. <laughs> Definitely digging the way that looks. Look at that. Howdy, partner. Okay, let's set him over here by Mikey. Let's have him lean back just a bit. 
That looks pretty great. Look at that. All right, let's move on. A little higher. So next, let's do Raph. And this is Astronaut Raph. A little Raph in space here. Ooh. I have to cut his little weapons out. That's her. Oof, I don't want to bend it too much. But there we go. That's already bent-ish. Same thing here. This way. Let's just push Raph out. I guess arm first. There we go, set that aside. Here we are with our Raphael. And so, again, I'm like, are his arms supposed to look kind of weird both ways? But in any event, let's zoom in close and see. Oh, wow, I just went flying off and I lost it immediately. I wanted to see if we could move his head, which we looks like we can. Look at that. So that's cool. We can move it this far forward and back. We can tilt it a little bit. We can turn it all the way around. So I am pleasantly surprised to see that. Now as far as for this, it looks like it has a lip here and a lip here. And you just pop it anywhere? Well, there's a little, look at this. That would go in the front here, so that answers that question. There we go, so that's cool. And what is that, a squid on him? Some sort of alien, is that ooze? Like what's going on there? Looks like it has eyes. Looks like Gumby melted, but with a more, uh, I guess just melted. And we have this um, tube running around from, running from here to here. Is this just supposed to come off? I guess I'll leave it there for now because I'm gonna be messing with it. There we are with it. there is ooze. Look at that. I do like the mold and it looks pretty cool. Look at his shell. It's covered by his suit and his arms. They only go up to here because I start hitting the black part. Look. There we are. They do go all the way around. They are nice and chunky as far as that's concerned. The elbows go this far forward, which is definitely not, uh, it's getting closer to 90 degree, but not quite. And then this arm is kind of bent that way, so I'm like, it looks like it could be backwards, but then you turn it this way, and it's like, well, that looks a little, I don't know what looks worse. And I don't wanna say worse, but I mean, maybe odd, but I guess let's have it there. So it kind of curves in. So the legs come further forward than I would have thought oh, again. And look at what looks like robot legs. <laughs> he definitely has that space age metallic look there. The legs have that cool joint return like that and a little more open there. Look at his boots. The hole for a peg down there. And they do turn. Um, they're restricted a little bit, but they do turn there at the knees. So, very cool. I like that he's got his um, microphone there so he can speak. And his ooze container here. I'm like, well, it's got ooze and oxygen, I'm hoping. And let's take a look at his weapons. Look at this. The Space Age blade. And it's high tech and has all sorts of craziness, so I'm assuming. Maybe it can have some sort of laser or something electronic device. 
And look at this blaster. So, um, his wrists do turn. And this hand's open more than this one. So, I guess we'll put this one for this because for the blaster it's pretty wide. Look at that. And then we'll get our blade over here. Our blade, laser, blazer. There we go. And there we are. Let's get him to stand. There we are. Very cool. I guess we could we could put this over his head like this. And I guess we could turn this too so we can get slightly more dynamic pose. Look at that. That's cool. Look at that there. Pretty awesome. Okay. Very nice, and we have one more to look at. And that would be Donnie as Spock. Ooh, look at that. Let's get him out here. Oh, we're gonna have to cut his arm out here. Oops. There we go. I said, there we go, and it's still stuck. And I can pull his arm out, his feet out. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut his hand out, though. All right. Let's put this here. Now let me set this down right here, and. Okay, cool. And let's get this phaser out. And I'm like, what is this? A phaser. A Type 2 2265? Maybe, maybe not. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't know. Alright, so. Let's get Donnie over here. And it looks pretty cool. I like this. Ooh, and look, his arm has to be backwards because the way it's curving like that. Let's turn this around, let's turn this around, and that's what's confusing me there. So, wow! Look at this outfit. Okay, too bad I was like looking for the eyebrow. But, okay, so the head does move pretty, pretty well back and forth here. Look, he's got ears, so he can have pointed ears, he's got his glasses going. And he's got his blue shirt, uniform, Star Trek symbol, also here. He still has purple right here for his elbows, and his shell is just painted blue, that's cool. With uh, his belt, black, and his pants going on here, and also he does have, again, knee pads, purple, but um, he's got shoes on, <laughs> which that's kind of cool. And it looks great. Like, this is a great looking figure. I absolutely love it. Wow, look at that. Very nice. And this hand's open. Okay, so this is supposed to be him doing the, the thing. Say, hey, Spock, do the thing. And that's the thing. <laughs> Live long and prosper. And here we are with this phaser. We'll put that right here in this hand. If I can get it open. And that'd be kind of funny for him to like say live long and prosper and then be holding a phaser out at somebody. All right, that's cool. And all right, so the legs come this far up, which is comes up pretty well. The knees almost at a 90 degree angle. They do turn until they hit the sides right there. And then the feet do turn. They don't really like pivot a whole lot arms. Wow! The shoulders go up really high. Look at that. They go around and same thing. These elbows turn, go back and forth. So definitely a full 90 degree angle. And the wrist turn. So this is a great action figure. 
Okay, cool. And let's get him to stand here. And what is this? The tricorder? His little satchel. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it is. So, we'll have him see how well we can get him to stand. He doesn't lean back. Let's see. Oof. Like, why is this leg standing so much better than this one? There we go. Very cool. Maybe we'll just put this down like this. And that looks pretty awesome. Okay, cool. Sorry. <laughs> wow, look how great that looks. Okay, awesome. That was our Donnie right here. And there's Raph, astronaut Raphael, and then Cowboy Leo, and then Beach Bum Mikey. Don't they look great? Okay, cool. Alright, give me a second. Alright, friends, look at all these incredible. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem action figures we've already opened and taken a good look at. They look absolutely incredible, and we're going to keep moving. But before I move on, we did do this Ooze Cruising Figures um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pack as the first one that we kicked this off with. But since it has this wrap, Mikey, Leo, and Donnie, that we already have here from the individual packs um, we haven't included yet but let's take a look at this video one more time and then let's take this April and this Bebop out so that you can see how cool they look and we can have one of each figure and not double them all up so what do you say let's go ahead and get that out and then here let me get them and well now here we are with every action figure that we've already opened and we're gonna want to take a closer look at this but doesn't that look absolutely incredible there we are we do have two bebops but this is the exclusive one with the ooze all over him and there's April so doesn't this look amazing okay awesome so let's take a closer look at uh, this earlier one we did so we can have all of these videos together awesome Oh, and one more thing. Look how absolutely incredible all this looks. Playmates is absolutely on fire. Because look what I found today at Target. These Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem bucket of mini figures includes 50 figures, turtle shell storage container. Look at that. And 25 different characters from Mutant Mayhem and the hit 2012 series which is absolutely my favorite. Look at that. So, this is what's gonna be next. Found this as a Target exclusive. And there we go. So let's get this open. And, well, guys, for now, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to so you notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments left here from let us know what you think of these incredible action figures. And check back on our YouTube channel for more great videos like this and the next videos to come. So we'll be seeing you soon. Thanks for watching. Vincent GD Super Channel G. Peace. Alright, friends. Welcome back to Vincent GD Super Channel G. This is what we're opening. This Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Uh, this is the bucket of many figures. Look how great that looks. It has 50 figures, turtle shell storage container, and 25 different characters from Mutant Mayhem and the hit 2012 series. So you're not going to want to miss this. Um, this looks absolutely incredible. Here's a quick little glimpse of who will be in here. Look at this. Wow. So you're not going to want to miss this. So guys, before we get started, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it to get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these incredible minifigures. And uh, share this video with anybody who you think would enjoy it. 
And uh, well, let's just go ahead and dive on in. So what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. Folks, this video was brought to you by Vince. Stay tuned. <laughs> get this open I was so excited the moment I saw it and well I'm sure you were too um, to see how cool this is there is the turtle shell lid but again let's take a close look Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem bucket of minifigures so we are includes 50 minifigures uh, and hopefully if we, there's duplicates of different colors turtle shell storage container and 25 different characters from Mutant Mayhem and the hit 2012 series. So we can't wait to see what's in here. I'm sure you can't either. Let's get this open. Oh man, look at that. I didn't even I didn't even snap to that. You'd be able to see them from the bottom. Okay, cool. Let's just let's get this open. My excitement is at 11 right now. Look at that. And the fact that it's the new movie, oops, plus the 2012 series, that's blowing my mind. Wow, look at that. Wow, it looks even better like that um, now that it has a plastic off. Great. So, here we go. Wish me luck. Supposed to be twisted. Because all I did was just pop it on and off. So who knows? Yes, it is. But oh well, whatever. All right. So we want to just shake them all out. Want to take them out one by one. Mm, both. <laughs> Oof. All right. Um, killing me, right? Throw them all out or take them out one by one. Ooh. <laughs> All right, we'll do them one by one. That's what I decided. So, let's take this first one out. And this first one is Mikey from Mutant Mayhem. Look at that. Looks great. Well, just in case we didn't know, there it is, Michelangelo. He's got his nunchucks, and look how great he looks. This is a great mold. You know, I know these are little miniature figures, but these would be great if I had the skill to customize them with miniature little statue paint. They'd probably look absolutely amazing. So maybe um, if there's a double set, we'll experiment with the other ones. But this Mikey does look great. Okay, we'll set Mikey over here. On this side, we'll do Mutant Mayhem. On this side, we'll do 2012. Or at least we'll try to. Okay, who do we got next? Let's do this one right here. No! Oh, two in a row from Mutant Mayhem. And we're gonna need to let his katanas, his swords, like straighten out there. But this is clearly Leo. Look at that. Leonardo. That looks awesome. These, um, the mold that they made for these look great. I'm definitely digging the way this looks. Obviously the sword, we're gonna have to forgive that super soft plastic and was just smashed in there. But otherwise, looks great. And I'm sure it'll settle in a cool way so that... Right now it just looks like whoosh, he's just moving it so fast it's slashing. So it still looks cool. Okay, awesome. There's Leo. And here we go, I'm confident we're gonna end up with a 2012 one. Well, I could see we're right on top. Look at this Mikey. Oh man, how come he has that for his feet? Interesting, that we don't have a stand? 
I guess maybe we'll see more of that in a bit as far as I guess these are the ones that we'll know if it's 2012 if it doesn't have a stand I don't know I'm already making assumptions but look how cool this looks this is absolutely Mikey the 2012 series looks great I'm like I just wonder why they look like that specifically but anyway look at that 2013 so I guess these are just either ones they already had and they repackaged them or they just printed more which is absolutely possible so that looks cool and I wonder how well it stands on its own I'm like I was thinking there might be a challenge to have it stand on its own so I guess we'll find out as we go further but look right next to this Mikey that's what they look like side by side all right so if I can't get this one to stand, I'll just lean it against the back right here. Okay. Awesome. Who's next? Oh, man. It's a foot soldier. Look at that. In the 2012 series. And that looks cool. It's like punching the... He's doing like a Black Widow pose. Like when she drops down, it goes... Pah! So that looks cool. It's... Um, I'm like, is this a uh, foot soldier bot or foot soldier um, still when they were people? So interesting to think, but definitely looks cool. And let's put them over here. Okay, look at that. Okay, next we have, oh man, we have Superfly. There we go. Looks cool. And yeah, no, I'm really digging this. Look at his little arms coming from down here. This is a great looking figure. His feet looks like he's gonna be able to hopefully stand pretty well because they don't look even, but this is a great looking figure. Great job. Let's see, please stand, please stand, please stand. All right, good enough. <laughs> there we are. Okay, next, who do we got here? Oh, Fish Face! And Fish Face, I don't, know, I don't know if I dig that his arms are just up like that, but um, otherwise looks cool. There's his metal legs, and yep, his breathing apparatus. So Zever, that looks awesome, looks like his tail is set up so it could, I was gonna say maybe to help us have it stand but maybe not and well that's cool there we go let's set him over here okay who's next ooh Krang a Krang droid with a Krang inside his, his belly there but interesting it's like hanging down instead of like sitting well in there but whatever still looks interesting um, still love the fact that it that is what it is, Krangbot. And well, this one's got a stand, so that's cool. Let's put them over here. Okay, next. This looks like the exact same foot soldier, so we'll set that aside. Okay, so I guess we're having multiple of the exact same. Figure are, they, are these different color blacks? So, anyway, so we have three of those. I'm gonna set that aside. Uh oh, four of those. I guess we can have them. Now it'd be cool to have four of them, but not specifically with that pose. That pose is a little. You can do it once. Too many times, whack. So, all right. I guess same thing here. We have this Krangbot. I guess this pose is better than the one that we have over there for um, the um, forgive me the foot soldiers so this is better but still like you can just have a thousand with all the same stance or whatever so we'll set these aside so that's already six and okay here we go here's one we haven't seen leatherhead for the new movie and this looks pretty cool the tail is definitely going to help it stand. This is awesome. Look at that. What is the 
this shotgun. Either way, some sort of rifle. And this is a great looking figure. Looks like it could turn it to waste, but does not. Awesome. Put this over here by Superfly. And let's see what we got next. All right. Look at this. Leo from the 2012 series. This looks so great. And this is awesome. Again, swords look like they're a little short, but either way, this figure looks great. Got more like little Peter Pan swords. But love the way this figure looks. We'll put them over here next to Mikey. There we are. Okay, next we have Raphael from the new series. I'm sorry, from the new movie. And that looks awesome. In case you didn't know, it says it right here. <laughs> and I love the way his weapons look. There we are, this bigger one's on the outside. So, this is a great looking figure. Got great detail. I'm loving every minute of it. Boom! There we go. Have him right here next to you. Oof! Knocked everybody over. And he's not standing very well, I'm just throwing that out there. So we're gonna have to lean him forward. There we go. Okay, cool. Next! Which. Just making sure this is the exact same Leo. That's how his sword's supposed to look. So, I guess we'll go ahead and swap him out. The other one look cool, but you know, this one's proper Leo. Okay, next! Oh man, another Leo? I don't want to have a thousand Leos. I hope, um. We get a complete set of whatever's supposed to be in here. Donnie! Nice from Mutant Mayhem. His um, earphones are around his neck. So thank you for definitely clarifying that for me a million times. Appreciate it. And we're going to straighten out his bow staff. See if we can. His glasses. That looks cool. And Donnie was so awesome in the movie. I'm like, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, just playing with that a little bit. And Donatello. Sitting right next to his brothers. So, how many have we done so far? That are unique. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we still have 14 left. Cool. I like that. Oh! Man, you have no idea how excited I am to see this. Snakeweed! Look at this. Now talk about body horror. This poor dude. <laughs> into this and yeah this was awesome snakeweed what an interesting looking character beautiful artwork and I'm excited to get snakeweed let's go ahead and put him over here I wonder if he can stand on his own we'll just put him right here okay next what do we have Donnie again bird we'll go ahead and set that aside now who do we have Raph again bird. Next, we have like this Leo again. Mikey again. Mikey again. Okay. Finally. Okay, so we have Donatello in the 2012 series, and Donnie was so great in the 2012 series. Look at that. Looks absolutely outstanding. Got the soft bow staff here. I don't love that it's soft, just kind of pointing that out. And look at his, his mouth. He's definitely stealth mode right there. Super Shredder Donnie. Okay. Oof. And we just need Raph for them right there. Okay. What do we got here? Donnie again. Okay. Leo again. Okay. Donnie again. Okay. Okay, cool. Finally. Master Splinter. Look how awesome this looks. Looks great. This is from Mutant Mayhem. Look at his glasses. <laughs> and he doesn't have a stand. I'm glad because it looks even cooler this way. 
So this master splitter looks absolutely great. Go ahead and set them right over here. Let's put them right here. Awesome. So now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now we're the other way, 11. Okay, Raph again. Hopefully we don't have to buy another pack. All right, the other Master Splinter. Look at that. I'm loving how this looks. I don't know about him raising his cane right there. Interesting how that came out. But um, looks cool. And this Master Splinter was able to kick a lot of butt. He was awesome. Using his ratty power. So this um, was... Um, Definitely a younger version of Splinter and was able to had just was an incredible ninjutsu. Okay, cool. So we'll put him right here next to the other Splinter. Next to his sons. What we got next? Oof, Donnie again. I'm getting a little scared how many we have there. Okay, we got Master Splinter again. Alright, now we're talking. We have the Shredder, and the Shredder looks outstanding. Jeez, look how great this looks. What a great figure. The mold looks great. His armor looks great. This looks absolutely outstanding, look at that. Great job. Man, I'm digging this figure. Cool. Okay, let's set him right up over here. Next to the Krang. And see what's next. Ooh, Mikey again. Finally! We got Raph from the 2012 series. Look at that. He's got, like I said, the size upside down over here. And this one forward. This looks great. Cool pose. It's definitely stealthing. Boom! And stealth creeping, I guess I should say. Let me correct that. And <laughs> let's move this over here. And get this going right here. Boom! That looks really cool, actually. Boom! All right. Who's next? Nice. We got Bebop. And this looks almost like a muscle figure. So it looks awesome. Look at his hairdo. His glasses, great detail on this figure. Wow, this looks awesome. He's got his little drill done that, of course, we remember from the original figures. It just looks, just looks awesome. So, his playmates, get his belt. A lot of love went into the mold of this figure because it's got great, great detail. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, set him on the side over here. Okay, there's not gonna be a whole lot left, but oh my god, there's some great figures in here. I'm gonna save the 2012 ones till last because I already saw them. But here is Rocksteady. Look at Rocksteady's panza, his gun looks awesome. His head is like almost half his size, and he's got a little, I guess, those are arm hairs. But this Bebop and Rocksteady look great together. Look at this. So that's awesome. Cool. I'm like, is anybody really missing from like, if we're only gonna have 25 characters, cause one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So there should be six more figures. And well, hopefully we get the six figures that's supposed to be in here. So I already saw this, Mikey. So I'm like, let me set them aside. Already saw this Raphael, which we already got also. And there's one more Raphael. I'm like, okay, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yep. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Because here's the shredder that we already had. Put him aside. And we'll start right here. Man, look at this. We got Baxter Stockman, and this Baxter Stockman looks outstanding. So this was his 2014 versus 2013. 
and looks cool. He's got the first suit he made um, with the Krang uh, technology. Looks awesome. I love the pose he's got going on. You can even see his head over here. And this looks so great. Okay, awesome. Set him over here next to Snakeweed. And we got a duplicate of this. I wonder if this one stands up better. Nope, leaning back more. Okay, so we have, oh my gosh, Cockroach Terminator. I thought this was going to be a, the one that, <laughs> that Splinter fell in love with, but anyway, looks great. And also in like 2014, but Cockroach Terminator, I'm a little surprised to see this one here. I guess we could have picked, uh, they could have picked a lot of different characters and I don't know if Cockroach Terminator would have been at the top for me, but still kind of cool. Um, that looks awesome. And there's so many characters that I love from this series. Let's set them aside over here. Great. Alright. Who do we have over here? Of course! A whoa, 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 whoa. Are we going to have April from Mutant Mayhem, but not April from the 2012 series? That'll be a bummer. But this April looks cool. It's got her notebook or whatever right there. It's got her little satchel and puke girls wearing her little hat and beanie or whatever and that looks cool. There's her sneakers. So alright, awesome. We'll set her. I guess we can move everybody over a smidge. There we are. Put her right here. I'm gonna stand real well she's standing standing pretty good actually okay so we have three figures left and you're gonna be surprised who they are so we have dog pound look how cool this figure looks dog pound I'm like all right you know I may have preferred uh, Razar but uh, I actually would have been both but here we are dog pound and this looks pretty cool Everything looks great about it. I'm like, are these supposed to fit on something? Because I'm like, anyway, I'll get over that already. But probably, if you do know, then let me know in the comments. I don't remember his tail being that long, but whatevs. This is a great looking action figure. Set him aside over here. And does he stand on his own? No, he's having difficulty standing on his own. Okay, two left. And I was shocked. To see, I could kind of tell what this was, but this is uh, the Rat King. And let me tell you, the episodes with the Rat King are pretty freaky. And he is a little bit scary. And then, who's that? Aristotle. That looks awesome. And Rat King episodes are spooky, creepy, freaky. And um, a little crazy, if you ask me. So I did like all those, especially the one where Splinter had fallen into... Um, him all the way to the bottom when he had that fight with, with Shredder and then he was like seeing him in his mind or whatever and that was so freaky but what a great figure and here's the last one so probably don't ex you're not gonna expect what's coming but it's a great figure and one of my favorite characters from the show okay look how great that looks already wow and here we are metalhead Metalhead was so awesome in the 2012 series, and then the times where you thought, okay, well the Krang are going to take over him, which they did for a moment, but be able to permanently, like, you know, use him against the Turtles, that was not the case, and he was just so awesome. Loved Metalhead. Look how great this looks. So, anyway. This is one of my favorites of all these little figures, actually. The pose is great. Sculpt is great. Yeah, his head, everything about this character is great. This figure. So, man, looks like we did end up with all 25. So that makes me happy. I'm trying to get Dog Pound to stand here. So I guess I'm just going to have to lean him back. Lean back. Lean back. 
Okay, so if I can get metal head, I guess I'll move this here, this here, this here, oops, this here. Oh my gosh, can't get him to stand up. And then this here. Good enough. So I'm like, come on, Krang Droid. Okay, awesome. Look at that. I guess I can line them up a little bit better. But this looks pretty great. Look at that. That's awesome. And there's our Rat King. And then here's our pile of duplicates. So it's not just two of each. Kind of cool that we have multiple Krang droids, those Krang bots. Would have been nice to have gotten a different pose for the Foot Clan. So guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it every time. Uh, I'm sorry, hit notification bell next to it to get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below if you can let us know what you think of these incredible TMNT Mutant Mayhem and 2012 series minifigures. And give us a big thumbs up and share this video to anybody you think would enjoy it. And what am I forgetting? Oh, yes. Check back on the YouTube channel for more great videos like this. So we'll be seeing you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Vincent GD's Super Channel G. Peace. Hey, friends. Welcome back to Vincent GD's Super Channel G. And look how incredible these are. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures look. These are the ones with the actions and the sounds. This is the Ninja Shouts version of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mute, Mutant Mayhem action figures. They look great. We're going to get these open and take a closer look at each and every single one of them. So before we dive in, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time we have a new video come up. Talk to us in the comments below to me. Let us know what you think of these incredible Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures. Give us a big thumbs up and share this video with anybody who thinks would enjoy it. So what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. Folks, this video was brought to you by Vince. Stay tuned. <laughs>so let's go ahead and get started and let's see what we got here and actually before the movie even came out we were able to find Leonardo Donatello and Raphael and this Michelangelo was the last one we were able to find I don't know if he just came out late for some reason but everywhere we went they had these three and then kept searching and searching until we found this Mikey but here we are so let's get these open and who do you want to open first? I think I want to open Donnie first because in this version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I'm pretty confident this was my favorite turtle. And we will get these open right after. What do you say to that? So, let me go ahead and get a setup right here. Give me one second. All right. So let's take a closer look at this Ninja Shouts Donatello. Try me, pull my arm or leg. Well, I didn't know that was the case. I over, uh, overlooked that part. But check this out. Power shouting, punching action. Remove this tag and to activate. Try me. Well, how many sounds do we got here? Interesting. <laughs> oh, 
Very cool. Well, here's the back. Take a look what it says here. YouTube.com slash at TMNT. New webisodes and more. Wow, interesting. I, haven't, I need to check that out. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie.com. Playmatestoys.com. Pull arms or legs to activate sounds. Hold them back to extend effects. And, well, let's see what it says right here. It says, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ninja shouts. Talk about mutant mayhem. You'll get more than an earful from these turtle brothers if you mess with their mean, green, crime-fighting team. Throw a punch or land a kick to hear the ninjas shout some of their iconic catchphrases from Cowabunga to Totally Turtles. Very cool. All right. Well, let's get this bad boy open. And I guess there's not a whole lot to do other than just cut that, right? So I guess we could go in there, then cut it from the back, and so on. But, hmm. Let's try this. <laughs> there we go. I'm like. That was pretty simple. Make sure it can stand. Okay, cool, because it feels a little wobbly. Oop. I started break dancing as soon as I let him go. Okay, here we are. Ooh, I just so happened to have some pinzas ready. Got lucky about that. Look at that. Oh, that didn't work quite like I had hoped. Hope it's not taped in there. And nope, it's not. And what about this here? Hmm. Same thing here. So I was hoping this would just pop out also. Which it appears to be starting to. There we are. Put that away. Set that aside. And here we go. Let's take a look at this action figure before we look at his ninja action. Oh, check out that head sculpt. Oh, there's where you replace batteries, I guess. The head does turn. Could turn all the way around if you wanted it to. Definitely tilts a little bit. Cool. Let's see. Okay, we can pose this arm-ish. Look at that. It's interesting how it's kind of like loose though. The wrist can turn and there's no other joints there. As far as these legs, let's see, turns a little bit there underneath the knee and turns a little bit here. But um, this is the one that activates the switch and then does turn a little bit under the knee also. Wow, kind of glitched out there. And his phone looks to be attached here. Look at that. This is loose here, but it's attached there. So, interesting. And let's get this. Let's zoom out right here. And... That's pretty cool. Look at that. And then as far as the glasses, they have these little notches right here so we can put it. Interesting. So, pop that right in there, right in there. I wonder if I hold this, is that if that's what happened. Alright, we get the point. So if I hold it, it'll hold at least one of the words, like this.
Interesting. I don't know if that's intentional. But, anyway, there we go. Bam! Otherwise, looks like it doesn't glitch out like that. This can go here. The arm down. And... Just having a little bit of difficulty standing. I wonder if, if this is all it takes to get him to stand up again. Look at that. I guess so. Alright, well whatever. Good enough, we'll put Donnie right here. Set him up there. And fix his glasses a bit and set him up right here. So, very cool. Okay. Let's move on. So I say next, let's do... Mm, Raphael. What are your thoughts? Here we go. So something very similar should be happening here. Let's plop this out. Pluck this out. And power shouting punching action. Turtle power. Pull the arm. Looks like we're going to have that hold the word out again. Look at that. Okay. Same as the Donatello figure. Even has the same art back here. And it seems like if we hold this, it's going to hold one of the words again. Blow and say, Blow. We're ninjas. Are you guys bugs? Interesting. Okay. So let's just assume it's a glitch. And get off my back. Really my without having to bust the whole thing open? Perhaps not. There we are. And there we are. Raphael and his scythe. This is blowing my mind. Okay, so same head articulation. We can tilt it so we can turn all the way around. This is a little tougher to turn around. Like that. It's a little more sensitive in the arm, look. Okay. So this one doesn't have the activation from the legs. It does turn right here beneath the knee. And the legs do move a little bit, but it doesn't look like that's really for posing necessarily. Very similar, we got the batteries back here. We can put his weapons right here. That's cool. Here we are. And let's put his weapons in his hands. The wrists do turn. Now, again, I don't know if him holding those words out is intentional or not, but if it is, I wish it didn't do it. But here we go. So still cool either way. I like that it has sounds. And he looks cool. So they are having trouble standing up, let me see if I can, there we go. Lean them forward. There we go. Otherwise, that looks pretty cool. Check that out. 
Okay, great. Let's move on. Next, let's do Leo, and then we'll do Mikey last. So, very cool. Again, look at this beautiful artwork. Look at that. Already had Donnie. And I still have Mikey, but those look great. Pull my arm or leg, as long as it doesn't say pull my finger. And there we go. Power shouting, punching action. And I'm like, what is that over there? Oh, that's for, so I can hold his swords on the back of his, behind his shell. So that's cool. There we are. Let's get him open. Let's get him out of here. There we go. I love how Master Splinter was just so afraid that they were gonna get milked. And that's what ended up happening in the end. There we go. And we just need this last piece. Come on. Can I pop that out without busting everything? Perhaps not. Okay, we'll worry about that in a minute. Let's see. Cut my finger somehow, look at that. But not right now, I meant earlier, forgive me. Looks like a razor cut. But... And it keeps getting like caught on stuff. But anyway. Interesting how it's like a random sound. Swords look cool. Leo's katanas. Looks great here. This is where we would attach the, that piece right here. So we could put the swords in like this. And otherwise, let's put these in right here. And one of these, there we go. This one we should be able to pose. Because this is the one that attacks. And this is the leg that kicks. We turn the wrists. There we go. So otherwise, that looks pretty cool. Looks great to me. Look at that. So that looks awesome. I'm like, do we want to take that piece out for his? I guess we will. We'll do it last. I was trying to get it out without. It's not working. I'm trying not to tear the whole move up the whole thing. Come on. Hold on, buddy. There we go. Just kind of pulled it out like the game Operation. Perfect. So, wow. I'm like, this goes in here, I guess? Like, is this really where it goes? I guess so. Look at that. We can put his swords right here. And that looks pretty cool. I'm like, is it gonna make him fall backwards like the other ones? Nope. So, very cool. Look at that. That looks great.
Okay, there we go. Sounds a little glitchy. But otherwise, they look great. And they sound pretty cool. Alright, there we go. Look at that. That looks awesome. Okay. Let's move on. And last, but certainly not least, boom! Michelangelo Ninja Shouts. We'll pluck this out. And watch out! Power shouting, punching action. Try me, pull either arm. Ninja Shouts, Michelangelo. Like that. Pull arms or legs to activate sounds. And this one should be arms only. Cool. Again, they're all gonna make extend the sound if we hold it out. So clearly, we've already seen that many times. There we go. And let's get his nunchucks out. Hopefully, we can get these out. Not busting up the package just like the other ones. Uh, almost. Again. Kind of like operation. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. Very cool. Okay. So here we are with Mikey. Look at that. Okay, cool. His head ugh, is hard to turn for me. Be careful you don't accidentally bust off his little mask bandana. His head doesn't really tilt like the other ones. The legs do pivot a little bit right here underneath the knee. And again, these aren't really made to, to articulate. Looks like we could open this up and have these fit. They are a little pinched together, but nonetheless, it does work. Sorry, it's because I'm applying pressure here. Okay, so that works. And he stands. Good vibes only, is that what he just said? We can turn the wrist. Here we are. Look at that. Very cool. We have the speaker right here. And we could store those away, but Otherwise, this mic looks pretty cool. And look how they all look together. Maybe we can bring Leo's head down. Why'd they only make him with the big old bugged out eyes? Well, in any event, they look great. Look at that. Awesome. Let me move them just a bit. Give me a second. All right, here we go. And I will say there was a little bit of difficulty standing up Donatello and Raphael when I moved them forward. And all of them started talking on their own. They were like, yeah! And all their little sounds and recordings that they have. So that was a little bit challenging. And I decided just to leave Raphael's arm down like that because he kept falling over. And, well, finally got them to stop talking on their own. So. Let me see if I can do it and not knock anybody over. Great! Okay, so let me know what your thoughts are because these absolutely look cool. And overall, they are really cool. But I'm having a little bit of difficulty having them all stand. And sometimes they just talk on their own and then of course they hold out the one of the words from like each of the phrases. But let me know what you think. 
And guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today. If you've not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next so it's get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these and perhaps even what you think of the new movie. So check back our YouTube channel for great videos like this. We'll be seeing you soon. Thanks, guys, for watching Vincent GD's Super Channel G. Peace. All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G, and look what we're gonna be opening here today. This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Ooze Cruising Figures, and this is a really cool Target exclusive, The Making of a Ninja, only at Target. And it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six action figures, and is quite a deal. We have all four turtles, and we have April, and Bebop. And I'm so excited to take a closer look. It looks like perhaps this would be an exclusive figure. And I remember not finding April everywhere. But because she wasn't in the first wave. So anyway, let's take a closer look. Let's dive right on in. And before we get started, let me give a special shout out to our good friend Milo. And so guys, before we get started, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these incredible new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem action figures. And give us a big thumbs up and share this video with anybody who you think would like it. So guys, what do you say we get started with this incredible six pack right now? Folks, this video was brought to you by Vince. Stay tuned! <laughs> what is up, Vincent G? Vincent G? Super Channel G. Super Channel G. So tight. Vincent G from Super Channel G. Channel G. Vincent G. Super Channel G. How you doing there, Gigi? So nice to meet you, Gigi. Vince and Gigi on Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV on Super Channel G. God, is this great! Joy! Alright, friends, welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. And let's go ahead and get this incredible Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem ooze cruising figures box open it is an exclusive from target the making of a ninja and it comes with all six of these cool figures and as we take a closer look i want to show you it definitely appears that these are just the exact same figures that come in the individual packages man this chair is creaking I'm like, come on chair anyway but um, with less accessories. Looks like it comes with their main weapons. No little mini turtle. And none of the all those extra weapons in the back. But it does come with what I believe to be. I need to go check to exclusive figures. We have this Bebop right here. That's got like ooze splat on him. And then this puke girl right here. I guess she puked on him. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> we have April O'Neil right here and one of, I think, two variants. And as I mentioned a moment ago, she did not come out in wave one of these nine figures. So, um, at the time, this was the first one, I believe, that dropped with her, and since then, you can get uh, another one. But anyway, here's the packaging. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It's got beautiful artwork on there. Look at that. And that's super cool. Let's turn it around. And again, look at this beautiful artwork right here. I loved Donnie in this movie. Raphael, April, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Bebop. Look at that. And so here, it says, well, I was like, is there any like QR code or anything? I guess not. Interesting. But it does say, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem, Ooze Cruising Figures. 
These turtles won't be taking any orders. When evil mutants create mayhem in New York, it's up to Team Green to deliver justice. Bebop is cruising for a bruising by taking on April and the turtles. So, I was actually shocked when they kind of, you know, changed the story a little bit about the other mutants and how it actually played out. If you haven't seen the movie, obviously, you'll find out as soon as you saw it, but I assumed they'd all be villains, and that might not be the case. So, let's see how we can get this open without destroying the whole package, and maybe we'll get it open on this side, and there we go. Let's cut this little piece of tape. Okay, there's more than one. There we go. Is it up on the top? Nope. There we go. There we go. Yep, and it is correct. They all have their one, well, their main weapons with them. And look how great this looks. Wow. Super awesome. I love how it has that in the back. And here we are. Give me a second, because I'd like to take a quick photo. Look at this. I can get this to, or let me at least hold it long enough to, to be able to press the photo button. Good enough, right? Perfect, because I can't reach it. <laughs> cool. And this is how it looks in the back. All right, cool. So, who do we want to get out first? We can go left to right, or we'll start with Donnie. Alright, let's start with Donnie. Why not? And are we going to cut it or are we just going to loosen it from here? I guess we'll loosen it. And... So, Donnie, I'm sure you'll agree, was absolutely hilarious in the movie. Um, it sounded like he was really young. He didn't necessarily sound like a teenager. <laughs> but, um... Uh, I guess the actor that played him is really what matters. Oops, forgive me. Definitely didn't mean to throw it there. And let's get his bow staff out of there as well. Oop. There we are. Very cool. Okay. Wow, there's even like little ankle joints. Okay, so we're gonna set this over here. Let's get closer. Let's take a look at Donnie. The glasses, do they come off? They do. Well, maybe they're not supposed to because it looks like there might be glue there. But anyway, we'll see. Where's Donnie? There we are. And maybe they're not supposed to come off. But it definitely looks like the same Donnie. Okay. Let's take him out of this pose. Have him attached right here. This little clear rubber band that's crisscrossed. Come on, little buddy. There we go. And that should now come. Wow, that's really wrapped around there. I'm attached right here to his. Little fanny pack going on. Okay, so let's see. Donnie's head movement, neck articulation. So it tilts about that much up and down. So not a huge range of motion, but his head does turn all the way around. Look at his head sculpt in the paint. We have these glasses here, which again, not necessarily sure if they're supposed to come off. I yanked them off and they were pretty easy to get out. But it does have a little hole right here to just pop that back in. And so we can always glue that back. Here we are. The arms move beyond a 90 degree angle. Look at that. That's pretty good. And go all the way around except for where it hits right here on the shell. Like that. Okay. As far as the elbows, we do have 
pretty good uh, movement there. It is nowhere, well, it is actually getting pretty close to 90 degree angle actually. And then we can turn the wrists. They do not go back and forth, but they do turn. I'm like, it looks like it's sticking out a lot. And this arm does about the same. And this hand is, it appeared to be a little more closed than this other one, but I guess not. And let's see, how can I get this off? Of? There we go. Slide that off. We have our little fanny pack action going here. And the phone does not come out. It's one piece. I'm like, is it attached here? No, it is not. I thought maybe there'd be a little peg that goes in there. Oh, it does. It has this little ridge that goes right there, so that's supposed to be there. And then we have this bow staff, look at that, which can go right in here. Let's see as far as the legs. The legs go, they actually go pretty far forward, and it's because this is softer plastic, which is cool, because even though it moves forward, it gives you better leg articulation. Okay, the legs do turn, and they have that hip joint, so that's cool. I'm glad they have that. Then the knees kind of do the same thing as the elbows. They have a single joint. They come into almost 90 degree angle. And then we have an ankle joint, which is also new. That's cool. Um, it only turns to the side, but that's better than nothing. And I wonder what if we can get like a pretty dynamic pose here. And so I definitely want to commend um, Playmates Toys for doing a great job here. How dynamic can we get this pose? Ugh. That's actually pretty good. Hmm. That was better a second ago. <laughs> Well, the leg doesn't go extremely far out because of that there. Otherwise, we might be able to push it slightly further out, which would be very helpful. So, a little disappointed I can't bring the leg further out, but still pretty cool. And then, I guess we'd be able to put him in a on an action hero stand. Let's see what it looked like he was facing this way. this here Let's straighten his glasses a bit well if we can get him to lean forward enough which it's not happening yet because he's his foot is kind of lifted Oof, if I could just get him to stay there, that would be perfect. Let's turn that. Ooh. Nope. Give me a second. Let me see if I can get this guy to stand. Let's see. Alright, well, this wasn't a very dynamic pose. But it was interesting because you didn't have a great center of gravity. So it's a little leaning forward and that's better than him falling backwards but it's like I couldn't really get him to have a super dynamic pose on him falling and then it's like the way his feet because you can't angle them down the way they were I had to bend the legs a little bit and it wasn't quite the pose I was hoping for but we'll start there and we'll set him aside over here We'll actually do this side first. Okay, cool. So let's do next. And well, let's do... Raphael. Let's turn him around right here. And... Raphael. Okay. Come on, Raph. There we are. And 
side. Oh, I didn't want to have to cut that, but I also don't want to bend it hard either. So we will cut. It's a little bent in, in a direction, but hey. So here's our Raphael. Let's remove his weapons for a second. It looks like we have more than one color of green here. <laughs> okay. Well, head sculpt is cool. About the same articulation as Donnie here. Donatello. And well, his head looks like it moves forward and back a little more. And does a great job there. Like, his head sculpt, that looks great. He's got a little bit of cracked shell going on right there. I'm definitely digging that we can have these here, but does that impact his ability to move his arms? Maybe. Or how you can pose them. Still looks cool. Look at that. Okay. Now as far as the arms, then move this out here. We can definitely move it higher than 90 degree angle up. Moves around. Now this joints are feel a lot tighter than Donnie's. And we do have the joint right here at the elbow that brings the arm into about a 90 degree angle. You can turn the wrist pretty well. It does hit here, so just be aware of that. Because that one's sticking out further than this one. So, different shell. And slightly more detailed than Donnie's, if you'll see that. And. Oh, here's the legs. We have that little rotation for the ankles there. Look at his toenails. <laughs> we have one, ooh, one joint in the knee. You're gonna wanna support that knee and started to come forward. Or back, I should say. So not quite a 90 degree angle, but still pretty well. This soft plastic also, so we can move the legs pretty far forward. Unfortunately, oh wow. This one has a little more room to be able to move them out. But it only comes up that high. So if you want to do a ninja kick, well, looks like this is as high as it's going to go. Because it does hit right there, just like on Donnie's. But you can't bring that higher because that would have looked cool. And, well, all in all, really cool. So let's see his weapons. We got his side right here. Cool little detail soft plastic so and ooh, I'm like missing some paint here on the hand but let's see let's have them one up one down kind of like the 2012 series let's see how that looks let's see if we can give him a more dynamic pose nope I don't want his head tilted off this side. Let's see if we can straighten this out. That's cool. And yeah, he definitely took the standing better. And that's pretty cool. Look at that. All right, let's put him next to Donnie over here. And hopefully he stays standing, because he's rocking back. <laughs> he's got a slightly different green than Donnie, look at that. That's cool. All right, great. Let's move on next, who do you wanna do? Leo? Hmm, I say we do Leo next. All right. So, ooh, there's a lot more little twisty turnies here. There we go. And ooh, Leo's swords. Wonder if we can get these out without bending everything and messing everything all up. But perhaps not. Oh, 
Okay, he definitely has little tags on his ankles. That helps. There. Oh my gosh. Perfect. And let's see. Okay, we got him out. Can we get the swords out? His katana blades. All right. Cool. And then next will be Mikey, I guess. And then we can do April and Bebop. But, wow, look how great this looks. I'm loving the blue. I love how it just pops. And, well, I guess we can put his katana blades here. Let's see, are we supposed to have them go in and down like that? I'm assuming so, but it could be off. So we're going to have it look like this, so I'm not sticking out the other way for the moment. I'm definitely loving the sculpt. Look at uh, the L and his little throwing stars he has there. As far as his head, tilts, and doesn't have the full articulation that Rafs does, but that looks cool. Has, well, his arms aren't going as high as Donnie's and Rafs. It's barely above 90 degree angle. We do have soft shell for the front. Soft plastic for a shell, I mean, and arm still a little bit of ways before we get 90 degree angle, but moves and turns there. We have the wrist that also turns, so that's cool. And looks like we are also a little bit of paint, uh, paint leading over or getting chipped off. And his legs come this far forward and bend. There's still a little bit more to be able to get where we want. Wow, but it does bend backwards the other way. And then we have right here where we can move it at the ankles. So, let's see. It, can he reach back? Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. And I guess we can pull this one out and have him already starting to to get his swords. Look at that. That would be cool if it didn't just look like he was holding them, but if you, you could actually tell that he was like pulling them out. But, I guess let's do that. And here we go. Definitely digging how that looks. Let's see if we can get his legs to line up and him, like, see how there's too much over here, so it starts falling over. So we lean him forward a little bit. But if we can't get his leg underneath him, then it kind of defeats the purpose. So for a center of gravity, we'd have to lean him forward like this because if we have him straight up like this, you can see it's already pulling him back. And I don't think we have a little stand thing here. Well, we might. We have one of them. Where's the other ones? Lost them. All. Right. Oh well. Let's see if we can get him to just hold that pose first. But it's like, why has he got a tiptoe? And I didn't want him just to have his legs straight like that. But I guess we'll take what we can get doesn't look the same while he's like that. He's not like... But, and then this is too high. Hmm. Give me a second, let me see. Alright, well this is the best I could do. And he's really just being supported by one foot leaning forward. It still looks way better. And then the other one has a toe on the ground. So, I'm definitely, definitely 
Loving the way that looks. And let's, I guess, move Donnie for a second. Let's move Rap over here. Uh oh, now I got problems having Raph stand. And here we are. And that looks pretty great. And look at that. Alright, so we got three figures left. Let's get. Let's get Mikey. And of course, was there ever any doubt? Probably not. Let's get Mikey out of here so we can get his weapon. There we go. His ankles don't seem to be tied down like we had with Leo. Right, great. I think we can slide nunchucks out. Perfect. Alright, great. Let's take a look at our Mikey. So, Mikey looks awesome. I love his smile. Of his big eyes and his big head. And looks like we have more than one color green here. You notice that? Okay. The arms do move up pretty well. Look at that. And go around. Except for, of course, where it hits right here. And the elbow comes in. Really more like to barely a 45 degree angle. Doesn't come anywhere near. 90 degree angle. Okay. Our M right here. Our head goes more back than the, than Leo's and, and Donnie's. We can tilt the head and we can turn all the way around. As far as the legs, they come this far forward. And, well, looks like the knees will start pushing backwards also, so come that far. They do turn. And we have a new joint. Wow, that brings us to a 90 degree angle. Great. We have a little ankle joint here. This turns a little bit. And this figure's got pretty good mobility. Articulation, that is. And, well, let's see his weapons. Look at that. So I guess the same thing twice. guess have them in here if they don't mind being smashed close together well they don't love it it's kind of like pushing its way out but it's like it can work doesn't love being in there. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I guess we could skip one and technically get there, but they'd be overlapping and that could work, I guess, but... Alright. So, let's start like this. Ooh, his hand's a little too loose for that, so... Let's kind of push that in a bit. Attention to what I'm doing. And well, it's not gonna be tight in his hand, unfortunately. That'll still work. And I wish I could I wish that pose could be held. But it's not gonna be held by his his feet very well. Ooh! 
Put myself wrong. That's really cool. That I love. Way to go, Mikey! Okay, let's move this to the side over here. And I got lucky. And hopefully it doesn't fall over. Look at that! Oh man. That looks great. Oh man, outstanding. Okay, awesome. Let's move on to our last two action figures. Maybe we'll take them off together. Okay, so we're gonna have Bebop and we're gonna have Cute Girl, April O'Neil. Definitely doesn't look like like we have a ton of accessories for April. She definitely has her little satchel. Ooh, I have to cut little tags here and here for her ankles. Oh man, I accidentally knocked down Mikey. Careful with these scissors because these are of sharp tips. There we go. What about for Bebop here? Definitely secured in there. I didn't notice he had little. Ugh. Right. Let's get that out first. Let's see if we can start. Perfect. Right. Let's set that aside. And Mikey, can I count on you to? S no! I'm knocking everybody over. I'm counting on you to stand on your own. No, I cannot. Okay. So, let's spread this over. There we go. Ready to go, Mikey? Okay, great. Let's look at April here. Doesn't look like she has any crazy accessories. If the glasses can come off, I ain't pulling them off. And here's her. Head articulation. It's pretty good head sculpt, actually. That. So tilts. We have our little bag right here. Her classic yellow jacket. The arms move up. Oh, they're a little tight to move up, but they move up that much. They move around. Oh, this just happened right now, so I guess if I push that one hard. Ends up taking that paint off. I'm gonna have to fix that because I caused that. Anyway, we have a little bit of movement right here for the elbow. It does have a joint, but it is restricted by the sleeve. Look at that. And it does turn on both of them. Look at that, so it can tilt out. We do not have a waist um, joint. A joint at the waist, and legs come this far forward. She has cool sneakers that she can you can turn right there at the at the um, ankle. And well, too bad there's not a cutaway here so that we can bring the legs further in because that's not too far in. But otherwise, cool details on the jacket. It even has that there. And well, we'll just stand her up next to them and let her be her. Oh, this leg is kind of going out for some reason here. So knees are kind of like knocking in, the legs are kind of going out at the bottom. And 
I wonder if that's just from settling in the box. It's gonna make it hard for us to get her to stand. Cause look, the foot's not even making contact. And we don't want her to have such an awkward pose. She does not have the greatest joints here on the leg. So we're just gonna have her kind of just chilling here, almost looking like she's hitchhiking. So, the April figure could have been just a smidge better. But nonetheless, we have April. Okay. And last but not least, we have our exclusive little bebop figure that we have here which is this one was what got me really excited besides the fact that all these come in one box and well look at that right off the right off the bat we have great um, ability to move the legs oh man there's even a solid single joint right there and look at his little legs that looks pretty good they do turn we cannot move anything at the ankle, but it doesn't look like we really need to. Can't move anything at the waist. We do have these really cool shell shoulder pads as a throwback to the original. The 1980s cartoon as far as the head. Too bad you can't move it up and down. You can really only turn it like this. So at least it's something. But look at this head sculpt. This head sculpt is beautiful. Look at the paint. Look at the hair. And... I'm loving the sculpt. I'm loving the, the green that splattered on him. That wow. And well, his arms come up to almost a 90 degree angle. These don't turn there like the other ones do, but we can move the wrist. And well, it's got a pretty smooth joint. You can move it up to really not even a 90 degree angle. But you can rotate it pretty well. This is a great looking figure. Look at his weapon here. Kind of a th call back to, again, the 1980s cartoon. And let's see how hard it'll be to make him stand, seeing as how he's uh, this shape and clearly like top heavy. So, lean him forward a little bit. Okay, well, that works. And that didn't take very long. No! I pushed it a little bit harder and it just popped right out. Okay. That absolutely looks great. Let's see if we can push that out. There we go. Just a little bit. And there we go. Push his legs out just a bit. See if we can still have him stand. Oof. Well, guess we're not gonna be able to do it dynamically. Okay. That looks good. So let's push him here. Let's move her here. Let's move Mikey here. Leo. Raph and Donnie. And look how amazing that looks. Wow, that would be a great scene just in itself. Okay, look at that. So, this pose looks great for Mikey where he's like lunging forward. This right here for Leo where he's about to attack, that looks great. Raph's got like a defensive stance, and then just a power stance right there. Defense also for Donnie. We have cute girl about to, I don't know, hitchhike. <laughs> and we have Bebop, who looks great with his little spotter right there. So, I'm excited. This looks pretty outstanding, and I'm gonna take a couple more pictures, but I wanna thank you for hanging out with us here, guys. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, 
please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments. Let us know what you think of these incredible new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures, especially this six pack that is a Target exclusive. Give us a big thumbs up. Talk to us in the comments and we'd love to uh, hear from you and see you on our next video. Check back on our YouTube channel frequently because we're going to do the, our entire set of these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures. We'll be seeing you soon. Oh, and I guess as a preview because you already know that we're going to do all of the individual figures, which would be these, and we have all of them. But we also have the variants, the making of a ninja, the one, these ones that glow in the dark. And you know what? I wonder if putting it there, putting it there, and seeing if maybe, just maybe, we'd be able to. Let me see. Hold on. Thinking maybe I could change the settings and turn it off and, well, see if it would glow. And it does. Look at that. So, all right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. And we will be looking at all of these action figures really soon. So stay tuned and let me know which ones you want to see next. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Here on Vincent G's Super Channel G. Peace.